Cardi, can you say something? Fuck you. Okay, you guys. Gotta use my phone to pull up the stream. Gosh darn Roddy. Cool. What? Your mic keeps doing the e noise. <sighs> yeah, it's doing that, Roddy. It's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. <laughs> Is the headphone jack something wrong with it? Because it's most of the time whenever it does that. Mm. Still waiting. Well, we can start now, but I just need everyone here who's here. So we're basically just waiting for Cry to come back from whatever he's doing, because he never responded to me. <laughs> he ah. never... He, en he entered and he never even said anything. He said something. He said, like, one thing. He said, hey. And I said, hey. <laughs> I'm gonna keep uh, sorting through stuff again. Okay. Again, yell, yell at me, uh, win because I am away from. You. Okay, I'm pulling up everything for you know, for D and D. We are currently live, so hello, no one, because no one's in chat right now. <laughs> I gotta make sure they don't hear this. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go! Big buff man time! Yeah! Okay, guys. Everyone's gonna play a big buff man next campaign. Go! No. <laughs> oh, there you are, Craig. Luke, Craig's back! He can't hear me. Darn it, Luke! Okay. So, Cry, how are you doing? Good, I suppose. <laughs> okay, they saved the main character. Yay. <laughs> you don't sound excited. I I actually fucking hate Mo Fury and I'm so glad he finally fucking died in the game, but come on. Like, he's still the main character, he still did the awesome shit, and he's still the first druid, and I main a druid, so... You're like, yay, I saved him. I mean, honestly, in this book, he's not as infuriatingly stupid as he is in Warcraft 3 and all of World of Warcraft. I don't know what the fuck they did to his character in Warcraft 3 and in War World of Warcraft, but they ruined him. Just like how I'm gonna ruin your face now. <laughs> in the books, he's much more interesting, much more, uh, you know, uh, not reliable, but, you know friendly character and him and Turander actually make sense unlike in the fucking games. I heard yelling. Yeah, we're yep. about to start cries here. <laughs> okay. So does anyone remember what happened last game? Something something murder. Yes, we actually had combat for once. <laughs> and wrong Wrong. My, my character uh broke out of um freaking uh, well yeah Vok. and it's... turns out he's like a 12 year old yeah <laughs> we got a 12 year old here guys what do we do with him throw him in also, the lake no <laughs> don't throw him in the lake oh it's also, callahan all over again great at least it's not the also, ocean roderick... it's just a lake well some pretty certain roderick has has Came out of the closet with the fight that he has a fetish for colors. Actually, I'm gonna move over. To Cutting them off, yeah. Keep working. Cutting them off. He has a fetish for cutting off people's toes, which is a really concerning fetish. He should get help. Okay. Alright, I'm mobile now. And 
wonder if he has if Shane would actually join us before the end of the game. Probably not because he um he works today. And mom's trying to make it so I don't work Saturdays, but you know. I'm talking about join us before the end of the campaign. I told you why he wouldn't cry. He can't because he works today. That's why he wants me to take Saturdays off, and that's why Mom's trying to get me to take Saturdays off. Bless you, Luke. Bless you. Gridlocked. What the hell is all this? On the path. Okay. So, we all remember what happened last time, kind of, but just oh. for everything reasons, I'm gonna reinstate it. Oh yeah, we saved Car Carmelian. Yeah. I killed the person! <laughs> Elena had a okay, so you guys managed to kidnap two guys who are now working for now working for Kane or Maxwell. They... No, they don't work for Maxwell. Maxwell works for Kane. Yeah. So they probably end up working for Kane. <laughs> <laughs> you guys captured two people and kind of threatened to torture them. Look, I had to do what I had to do. I didn't say anything. I'm just saying you guys did that. And I quite literally enjoyed it. You fucking weirdo. I adore threatening people. Anyway. After that, you guys went to find the hideout and a fight ensued. And Elena killed someone. I mean, y'all killed someone, but Elena sense. had a panic attack because of it. I am the only person who didn't kill anybody. Oh, no, you guys went inside, and Roger pretended to be the new Gordon Ramsay. Yes. And then you guys fought the big bad, and he got away. Because he is a coward. He's like, because he's a fucking coward. He comes back and just kills you. <laughs> he was on 3 HP, I'd like to see him try. Yeah, but you guys were ganging up on him, to be fair. That's how D D works. You cowards! <laughs> Plus, he was attacking different people at different times. If he attacked one of you guys at the same time, you know, if he multi-attacked one of you using both his attacks, he probably would have won. Because Roddy's over there panicking for some reason. I'm not panicking. It's such an adorable little girl. Now nah, she's fangirling some new creature and whatever she's doing. And cries depressed. And um, I have three pages left. <laughs> Okay. Well, by the way, we continue where we left off. You guys are opening the door to Cartman's room or place. And then I still It was three months. Yeah, already it was three months, but you know. I know. That doesn't change it. Disgusted that she killed someone. Horrified that she killed someone. Still, same difference. What a wimp. Do you say that in character? No. I'm just gonna have to wait for Roger to get back so everyone's more lively. Mm hmm. But currently, y'all sound dead. <laughs> I'm waiting for. Look, my character is currently panic and what is she gonna do? Okay, well I guess the door opens. As Cartman looks over and he's like, Ah, oh, my brother! I'm good to see that you're in safe hands. Yes, these people, um... They got me out of there. As they should. That's what they were paid for. Speaking of which... He reaches down and pulls out, uh, I'm pretty sure I said five gold. I was about to ask if we got paid beforehand or out. 
I will promise to be paid afterwards. Yes, I forgot. He pulls out five gold and gives each of you, well, not five gold. He pulls out, you know, bags, tiny little bags, and gives each of you five gold. Except the cat, because the cat, he thinks it's a cat, so. Ob obviously. And as it should be. <laughs> yes. Or fish. And, and what it, what's it? And what's it? Oh, what's it? As he goes back and he, like, gives his brother a nice half hug, you know, wraps his arm around him. Like his shoulder type thing. Yeah, I should give him. I should give Pierce an aggress on the grass. And he's just like, thank you, by the way. I appreciate you doing this. Um, I would assume you guys are looking for more work, but I currently don't have any. I might later today or tomorrow, but your best line of work is probably Sea Lords. After all, if they know who you are, which they should. Then they should be able to help you. Mm -hmm. I see. That's only if you guys are interested in getting work. I understand this is possibly some of your guys' first true combat, so you might be a little more uppity than others. Mm -hmm. nice. I had so many blank pieces of paper that I could have used so long ago. I never knew it was here. <laughs> the cat's huh? speaking of paper! <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm right. I'm decluttering my room. I know. I'm making a joke. That's one thing. Yeah. And then it looks like she's not even listening. She's just hugging the owl. And just following the others. Um, well, you're free to go. That's great. Have a good day, sir. You too. And we are off to the tavern, I suppose. Can I go to, uh, as we're going to the tavern, can I go to, you know, go in another direction? I mean, you can. Can I go to Kane? Okay, as everyone's walking to, you know, the tavern, Elena, without saying anything, starts walking in a different direction. Okay. Which she's not stealthing or anything, so people will notice that she is walking away. Oh. Unless yeah, give your give... stealth exceeds my perception. She's not rolling give... stealth, though. I'm not she's, rolling she's stealth. She's just... Stealth. Oh. I have no idea what her passive stealth is, though. She would have to... Let's not worry about that. Mm-hmm. You just see her like walking away. All right, there's a bunch of us over here. To the tavern we go. Okay. After you have rest after 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 three months of travel by boat, it's required, I suppose. Okay. Lots of downtime to give time for Rodrock. Um, in that case, does anyone try? Can you roll me a, a d20 and can you roll me a d20, Ruddy? In real life, the indie beyond, in the beyond so chat can see it. Okay. God fucking damn it. Uh, what was that? That's Ruddy's headset because it's fucking fucked. Fuck. I got a six, I think. Okay, and... Ready, what'd you get? Oh, you're uh, still getting into it, aren't you? Oh, wait, not the... Fuck. Give me... I... Wrong character. <laughs> I clicked on the Emily. <laughs> Where is Elena? Mm. She has the same profile picture of... 
Whose fault is that? What girl? No. <laughs> I rolled the same thing on both. <laughs> okay, well, Roddy, you did roll higher, so we'll go with you first. Fine, baby. Okay, so from Sea Lord Cartman, you're going to take three hours to get to Sea Lord Kane. Just we'll go with Cry. I feel like he killed me earlier in the tavern than me. No, we rolled. Plus, I don't know what he plans on doing, and he sounds very monotone right now, so I don't think he really has much planned right now. <laughs> Would I be correct in assuming that Cry, or am I wrong? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Elena, you take three hours walking to see Lord Kane. You do go with your group basically to the tavern, but once you get to the tavern, y'all kind of split off. Yep. Okay. Once you get there, you see Maxson. He's sitting there minding his own, you know, business as he looks up. And he's like, "Ha! Oh, it's you." She walks past him without even acknowledging him existing. Hey! He continues walking. <laughs> he just, like, murmurs to himself. Okay, they see the crew is doing what they do, you know, pulling up stuff, doing their thing. That's basically what are you doing? I hope I go to the door and knock. Okay, you do a quick. It's like what? What? Oh. Who's out there? As he opens the door and looks down, he's like, "Oh, Elena." Yes. What is it? Can I come in? I suppose. Let's just step to the side. She goes in. Um. What is it you need? No, actually. I... <laughs> I kind of killed a person. By accident. By accident. I didn't mean to... Were they trying to hurt you? I don't know, maybe. If they were trying to hurt you, it's not an accident, it's self-defense. Yes, but I didn't mean to aim, aim for the head. He's gonna walk over and be like, Elena, is this the first person you killed? Why would I have killed anyone else before? Well, considering your mother's an assassin, I would have thought she would have taught you a little bit. She looks a little annoyed. Why would she to, to, to teach me how to kill? I when taught her how to kill. Me. It's different. I'm not an assassin. No, Elena, it's not that different. Killing is always something that is going to be needed for self-defense. It's not the problem with the chilling, technically. Then what's the problem? Well, I don't know how to explain it. Oh my god. Oh, there's the sound again. Okay, you know ah. how... Is it still there? It just stopped. Oh, it's coming back. Sounds like a car beep or something. <laughs> She's not in a car though, it's literally her headphones. I know it because mine used to do the same thing. Hmm. Okay, just... You know, actually I don't know if you know how I technically died. Uh, yes. What about it? Well, that moment when I was on the other side, something touched me. Okay. Um, so, 
my magic. Uh, can she do like a little bit of, you know, a mage hand or something like something that is the pure form of her magic? Sure, Maybe but she... considering she's stressed, roll me a d20. God damn it, Eric. Um, to be on the club, try me club. There. Hey, you're the one who agreed to these rules. I'm not doing anything wrong here. No, I'm talking to mom, sorry. Pippa? No. Okay, then 20. Yep. 15. 15? Okay, no wild magic then. So your mage hand is your color. This is my magic, right? Yes. Oh, but it's not always. My magic. How to? I don't know how to explain. Sometimes it's black, and that's not my magic. Your concern it, it, about pretty much not my magic goes out uh, randomly from random stuff, and it can hurt people. So basically, hurt... sorry. Go ahead. It has hurt someone before, and. And I thought, like, if she, can she, like, can she, like, remove her sh shirt in a way? She has, like, a thing underneath it, so she, just her, the top part of her shirt. Well, I guess. I don't know how you're trying, what you're trying to do here, but, like, I guess. Yeah, she shows him that, you know, all her arms are pretty much in arcane tattoos that are made with the fucking... Ah, with lyrium. lyrium. Yep. When I was little, that thing showed up. And they put... She shows a little bit the, the original Lyrim. They put this. And it somehow helped. And I thought, well, because it starts showing up again, I thought, that, well, if I put more, it will disappear. It didn't. And, well... It, I don't know, and it keep making me lose control. Well, I... oh, sorry. I'm not upset about that guy in particular being a dead. Like it, it shows a pattern. It rem because the last time I lost control, someone else got hurt, and. Down the, and now I can't get the image of her bloody body sitting in front of me. And I do not know what to do. Did you hurt him intentionally, Elena? I was hurting him to knock him out. I didn't mean to aim for the head. But his head, uh, it got frozen. And it shattered, and there was blood everywhere, just like her, and everything. Elena. Wild magic can be caused by many things. Stress, um... Just plain old blood. I know what's causing it. It's not like uncle's wild magic. It's nothing like it. It's black. It's his. I don't know what that thing was. It, it's it 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 it's his fault. Who is he? I don't know. A giant skeleton thing. I I believe it it was the god that you know mom fought, but I'm not sure. But it's, it. If it was him, your magic would be back to normal, cause he would be dead. No, but, but what if he infected me? What if uh, he managed to find a way to retain some kind of being alive through, you know? Because... Alena, look at me. You were okay. Your magic is still your own, even when it goes wild. You're stressed it's... out. It's not my magic. No, it might not be, but you will learn to control it. The more you have it, the longer you will learn to control it. Mages who have wild magic have done this hundreds of times. It has been proven the more powerful you become, the more you learn how to control your magic. Mm. 
play magic. You can make it. You are magic. I don't want to. I don't know. Well, first, try calming down because you are incredibly stressed. It seems. And that's yeah, never because... good for someone with wild magic. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was dressed. As I said, the way he got hurt, it looked n not exactly, but it looked like her. And mm. You're seeing things, Elena. You're seeing things that aren't there. Mm, I know, but... And... Mm, try to... No. I don't know. He's gonna stand up. Keep He's gonna stand what? up, Elena. Mm. And he's going to grab some tea and set it down in front of her. He sits down and he's like, drink some. She looks at it. Can I? Uh... Because she's paranoid, can I inspect it for poison, anything magical, or and like, you know? Which one do you want to do? Both. You can only do one. Poison. That'd be a nature's check. A what? A nature's check, because poison is a herb. So. And even if it's venom, you know, it's nature. Fortune. Would not be a medicine check? Well... It makes more sense if it's nature, because most poison comes from nature, so. If someone was poisoned, I'd say it's a medicine, but considering it's not in somebody, like that's poison. different. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a better option, but... There probably yeah, is, but I'm just going to go with complaints. nature. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to go with nature. Okay, with a 14, you're looking at it, it seems like a basic sunflower tea. Ew. Okay, and like sunflower tea, okay? <laughs> okay. She looks at it. Why? You need to calm down. I know this, but I don't think... And some people calm down when they drink tea or cocoa or whatever the fuck they drink. You need to relax. <laughs> she sits down in front of the tea and looks at it. <laughs> and just, you know, picks it up and, like, takes a sip. It's sunflower tea. Don't you guys have sugar in here? <laughs> I'll grab some sugar cubes and set them down. She looks, um, shocked. How do you guys make it into cubes? Uh, we get little trays and we freeze them. She looks uh, confused as fuck. Because that didn't make any sense to her. Basically, he grabs this little device that looks like it's meant to cut stuff. But in squares, like small squares. I set it down. He puts it in this box. I fill it with sugar. And then I put it in, you know, I basically give it to my mage who freezes it. Or not my mage, the mage of the town. And he'll freeze them. And they stay in little cubes. Because it's magical freezing, so they won't defrost. Until, you know, they're put in a drink. Okay. She drinks it. She puts all the sugar in it and drinks it and looks at him. You feeling a little better? No. <laughs> uh, you're very stressed, aren't you? Well, I get, I get, maybe, mm, mm. Reminds maybe we'll, me of my first kill, to be honest. But, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with that story. She looks at him annoyed. If you dare not bore me with that story, I will lose my shit. Okay, fine, I'll bore you with my little story of an old man. He sits down. Well... My first kill was of a noble, noble blood. I think his name was McQuell. 
McQuell. I don't remember his last name. McQuell something. Anyway, he was a very spoiled rich kid. Obviously, noble blood. Not that you're spoiled. She looks at him like she's a little bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. McQuell was, I would say, friendly-ish. I was kind to him at first, until the order came in. That's when I had to decide between my friendship or the cause. So later that night, I snuck into McQuell's room. I just did what I had to do. It's just stabbed him in the throat. To be honest, him waking up with his eyes open horrified kind of shocked me for a while. His bed was covered in blood. My hands were covered in blood. I was covered in blood. I didn't know how to react. So I ran. I just ran for hours. Until finally my father found me. He called me a coward, said I was useless. Threatened to throw me out. Replace me. I see oh, I kind of acted that way with your mother a bit. But that those words pushed me to become better still. To the point of where I would not feel anything when I killed a victim. It was just another job. Just another poor fool who messed with the wrong people. Yeah, but have you ever heard family? Plenty of times. Emotion. Like... Elena. I've heard people emotionally, physically, mentally. No, I mean, your mom probably has dad issues, to be honest. Do you even have to ask? <laughs> oh, there's that one. Do you even have to ask? <laughs> God damn it, it's doing it. I'm sorry. It's every time I move it's my not head. It's super loud. It's just annoying. It's every time I move my head. I know. It's because you're pulling the cord. Is it pressure. a short in the wire? Probably. Oh well. Well. Elena, what do you think you should do in this situation? You came here to obviously do something. I don't know, you're the only blood relative I can talk to, currently. Sometimes you don't need blood relatives. I mean, look at me, I'm all the way out here, away from all our family. Mm. Still. I've been fine by myself. Mm. Still. Uh, the, the, you know, that thing about losing control again somehow, yeah, you know, even though it was, m it was supposed to be my magic because it was my color of magic, so oh. am I losing control over my own magic or? He's gonna grab your hands. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Deep breath in. Uh, I don't like this. Why not? Deep breath in the because it doesn't work. It helps a little, <laughs> Elena. Getting breath through you will help you. It might not help a lot, but it will calm the nerves just a little. Mm -hmm. Are you tensed up? Yeah, because... Then do the breaths. Oh, yeah, but... Mm. Mm, you know, 
for pine. Okay. He proceeds to do them with you as he's like, deep breath in. Don't, you don't need this yet. I know, no. it's just sit ready, it's role play. She's talking to oh. him, Harry, okay. shut up. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Once he's done, he looks at her and he's like, are you any better? Do your muscles still feel tense? I mean, I could give, you, I could bring you to the massage, but yet again, I don't think you want someone, you know, rubbing your back and stuff. No. Yeah, it's hey, pretty... just quick, just quick, quick question, because you have been in the business for so long. Of assassinations. Um, of. Assassinations connected with your own guild. Ah, uh, yes. How do you know if there is any of your... Any of, you know, the... Them around, like the assassins? Well, my guild had nice little roses tattooed on them. Or on their armor. Most of the time tattooed on them. Yeah, but if you can't see them, is there anywhere to know they're there? Magic. You can cast Detect Magic, technically, and it will tell you all magical things around you. So if someone's well, invisible, you can tell that they're there. If someone has an enchantment on an item, you can tell about that. Or if something is possessed or any of that. As long as it's not from a ghost or something, you can tell if it's possessed. Like, um... Um... Uh, mind Control. Some detect magic can even tell you what kind of magic it is. Why do you know so much about magic if you're a assassin? I had to kill mages. You think I didn't have to learn about magic? She smiles like my dad. <laughs> I didn't kill him. Even though I should have, but I did it. <laughs> he said you were torturing him for years. Yeah, I really should have just stopped after like the first year. Oh well, now I have you. How, how torturing him have anything to do with whatever? Well, if I didn't I... torture him and send my daughter out to kill him, you wouldn't have been born. Fair. I should probably go to the rest of the party. He walks over and he pulls out some more tea packets. Here you go. Do you have mint? <laughs> Uh, he'll pull out some mint herbs. Here, this is the best I got. Thanks. <laughs> kind of hard. They're like old. They're kind of crumbled and stuff. You know, they're leaves, so they need water to survive, but not sea water. <laughs> <It's lyric. laughs> I know. I'm just pointing it out. You know, I'm just saying they're old, so they're probably they're they're still a little wet in the middle, but like the sides are like clearly dry. Mm. So that is uh, younger than one year. Sure. Yeah, because after one year, it's ruined technically. Okay. Thanks. No problem. And she's gonna uh, uh, exit the you know the room. He grabs her like shoulder real quick. Mm. He leans down, and just gives her forehead a little kiss. Be safe. If not for me, for your dad. And I'll she, let her leave. <laughs> she looks to, to remember something that seems to scare her, and then like, yeah, sure. Trust and me, then... your dad wouldn't be angry at you. He'd be angry yeah. at me. <laughs> yeah, but mom would probably, I don't know. I, I should just go she, like, tries to get away. I am curious about what you said about your mother, but, you know. Speaking of which, since you guys are back, I'm gonna guess your job is done with, uh, little old a, friendly Santa boy. You are at the, the, at the docking port of the, the I know, ship. but that doesn't mean it's done. He could be sleeping in the tavern right now. I'm just asking. 
you you saw him. As I said, he'd be going to the tavern instead. No, we delivered him nice and packaged. Ah, yes. <laughs> Put him in a nice little box with a ribbon. Yep. I would have done that. Have in mind. <laughs> Why would you have in mind? Oh, I'm just saying. If you need a job, you can come talk to me. I'll tell the others. Yep, as he sits down. Just remember, my work is a little more shady sometimes. Of course, not murder anymore. It's more like thievery or something close to that age. Okay, I'll tell the others. He just nods and lets you leave. The moment she closes the door, she starts running. <laughs> Where to? Where is she running? To the party? Or? To, the, to the party. Okay, I just had to confirm. And I wanna, I'm gonna mute them and just finish my meal. And okay. yeah, the rest can do whatever the fuck they want. Okay, well there's still only two of you right now. Should I text Roger to see what's taking him so long? Or does sure. Cry and Luke have anything in mind that they want to do? Well, the pesky human is away. Yeah. Fuck humans. You're a human. <laughs> Fuck humans anyway. This was from the time that I was messing with the freaking. With the. The machine universe. Alright. Uh, I don't have anything in particular to do. Um. Except maybe cause someone a little bit of pain or strife. Bully a bully an old woman or something. I bully you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we'll go rent our the, the room again because the week is up. Okay. You guys walk <laughs> over and he's like, Ah, hello again, sir. Yes, yes, hello. Uh, I'm gonna assume you're a sir. I haven't seen many dragonborns. Yes, I'm a sir. I'm a, I'm a man. Okay, I can't tell. It's you like, guys look... This is gonna sound really bad, but you guys look kinda... similar. The only reason I can tell if a female Dragonborn walks up is because they're slightly more slim. And the males are a lot more buff. Although, mm -hmm. he looks you up and down. I don't think you're that buff. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I'd like to rent, <laughs> rent the, the room again. Is it a room oh, it's or... it's fine. Um, Sea Lord Cartman has already helped with that. Uh, uh, you get free stay here, but meals you might... Well, no, because if you stay here for free, then... Never mind. You don't have to pay for anything. Cartman got you covered. Thanks for the information. Let's get drunk! <laughs> Fantastic. I suppose it's time to go and wine after three months of being on the ship. Uh, I, I don't feel like you're going to get much better sleep considering our beds are, like, primarily wood and feathers. I mean, it's less shaky at least. Sure. Let's just hope a storm doesn't hit us. Yes. Hey, we have a good day, sir. I will let you know, Cry, it's currently the middle of the day. Uh-huh. I mean, like, just go to the room and just lie down for a minute. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm like, you guys, you guys shouldn't take a long rest yet. It's literally 12 p.m. Yeah, just like fucking, you know, we we probably like woke up at 6 a.m. to help with the shit. And just... Yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Does the guy just go into the room and just slam it down off the bed anyway? <laughs> probably, which doesn't feel the best because, as I said, it's primarily wooden feathers. There's not many feathers. It's it's basically like as if a prison bed. If I have to describe it in any way. Uh, yeah, I suppose we I just sit down for a bit. Okay. Cat, cat comes up. But, like, but. <laughs> Since you sit down, I'm assuming you still have the back in your back at mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Uh, oh, head it hangs it. over your shoulder, bats on your head. I'm bored! <laughs> I thought when he would act like a fool. I, w I wonder when he would speak in that like a child. <gasps> I'm gonna get stabbed. <laughs> Clothed, more like. 
<laughs> What's your favorite movie? Human Centipede. <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered tonight. <laughs> Wait, what kind of uh, growth group is um, Colin? How big of a cat is he? I don't know, Luke. How big is Cole? <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd say probably about the size of my cat is now. So, like, looks like an adult cat, pretty Ish. much. So an adult cat. Still on the younger side, but not. Not definitely not a kid. <laughs> yes. Would I be allowed to like take along like one toy just because it's a new information that this is a child-looking cat? Looking I'm like going to say cat. no because you did not ask in advance. Fair Sorry, enough. What? He wanted a cat toy, but you know. I was asking if I could get a if we if I could have a cat toy because. Only now I am informed that this is a <laughs> This is a child. Cat. I'm dealing with a child. Yes. Well, you know, it is not a lot of things you can do here. Unless you want to go chase some in grass or something. I don't know what you're interested in. He's talking to the cat, by the way. Oh, I didn't hear that. Give me a second, I'll repeat it. There's not a lot of things you can do, honestly. Feel free to fucking feel free to choose between chasing rats or chasing birds around. Because there's not a lot, of, not a lot of things to do. Although you'd be interested in playing with me. Did you hear that, or do we need to repeat again? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to turn you up, give me a second. <clears throat> I have turned you up. One more, <clears throat> one last time. From the top. Well, what do you want to do? There's n because there's not a lot of those things. There's because there's not a lot of things to entertain yourself here with. I don't think they serve a cat alcohol. Not as you allow you to have anything because you're a child. There's not a lot of talk. <laughs> at the at the of alcohol, it's like Why? Why would you even suggest that? <laughs> alcohol is ver alcohol is, is very popular no at Wait, what's the difference between royalty and nobility? I, I can I'm confused. Royalty is you are the prince or princess. Nobility is, you are a noble. You are high status, but you're not like super. You're high status, pretty much. So you could go to royal and, and noble parties, right? Well, royal parties are normally once in a while to like try and marry off one of their kids or like mm -hmm. for these agreements. Well, noble parties, on the other hand, are more like, oh, we're throwing a party because we can. Mm-hmm. Well, I would suggest it because since I was a child, every now, now in a while I saw that uh, alcohol was very popular at those classy noble parties and they, you know, every once in a while they even give me some watered down wine and stuff like that. So I thought that, <clears throat> so I thought it was more common for people, well, less noble. I thought I was wrong. Either way. No, like, Either way, for other options, well, I didn't pick any of those cat toys of yours. Hey, yeah. hey, hey really quickly, I, I just yeah. want to check. Uh, are there a bunch of... Um, sorry, not a bunch of... My brain's not working. It, it's been very slow today. Uh, ask whatever you need to. Are there many other animals out in this area? Other than, like... Other than like parrots and possibly dogs, most likely not. Pirates normally won't have a cat with them, and if they do, it's you know, it's more of a trained oh, yeah. cat. Familiars. Or that. Yeah. Oh, 
So yeah, you didn't pack any of those fancy characters of yours. And I don't think anybody would be happy to chase around parrots. Would you feel would you can feel free to suggest it some kind of game of yours? If you're that bored. Mm. Woo! Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> what the wait, wait, wait. What? Did, wait, did did Evelyn not take the owl? <laughs> I thought I did. Oh, Oh, Miss <laughs> Evelyn checks it on the way back. Wait, where's that? Oh crap! Oh, <laughs> oh, Miss, <laughs> oh, Miss Boomy forgot her precious owl, I suppose. Who? Yeah, so, looks over an owl that just who's. I'm just like, don't. Dave? <laughs> the owl's eyes narrow down at you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't say anything. <laughs> I know, it's just narrowing wow. down at you because you're looking at it. Yep. <laughs> you know what? This is exciting enough. I, 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 I'll, I'll hop over next to the uh, owl and see if it runs. It, like, it's not running, but it's giving you a stare down. <laughs> Yeah. What's this lost sassy child doing here? It's it's like prepared if something goes down. It's like I'm ready to I, fucking do something I, if I, I have I, to. I do, I do the other normal cat thing where I rub my head into just about anything. In this <laughs> case being the owl. <laughs> Considering how owl feathers are, Luke, when you rub your head into this owl. It, like, your head gets absorbed, pretty much, is what it looks like. Oh, I gotta draw that down. I gotta fucking draw that <laughs> Like, I don't know if anyone knows, but, like, owl feathers, an owl's actual body, is super fucking small compared to what it looks like. Yeah, they're so fucking fluffy, holy shit. So, can I like, draw that hazy, by the way? Yeah, you can draw that if you want. I'm just pointing it out, like, Luke, when you put your head into this owl, it's oh, like... Oh, come on, it's a nine! <laughs> It's like a, and everything you see now is just darkness. <laughs> I rolled terribly. Well, I'm drawing. I, I, I probably keep going alongside the owl. Okay, I, I was just saying it's it. like the, pretty much, you know what I mean. Basically, when you push it, it your has, head in, it hasn't attacked me. I I don't think I'm uh in trouble yet. Yeah, it, it just kind of lets you do that, if that's what you do. Slightly confused, but you know. It's like, whatever. <laughs> this is happening now. I'm making notes <laughs> with the owl. The owl is now friend. <laughs> I, did I draw good or bad? Uh, with a nine? It's... It's not mediocre, but it's not like, you know, the best. You, you know you could have done better. You're like, hmm... Pretty much, you're like, ah, oh, huh, okay, well, that, that's that, I guess. Uh, I wish I could redraw that, but I suppose its chance is gone. I mean, you got you got mostly important details, so I'll say it's not like you know, it's not ah, uh, it's not the best. It, it's it's a commoner would know what's going on in the picture, right? Yeah, a commoner would know. At least you didn't get a five. If you got a five, it would be like if an ogre drew it. You. You would basically throw it out immediately. It's, it's, it's shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of funny because I can't get a five of a plus five. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, if I got a five, it would be a ten. Fair. You know what I was saying, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I rolled a one or something. Yeah. Okay, now. I'm guessing that's what you guys do for the next few hours, then? If, it, if he's gonna have his head stuck in the fucking fluff, I wanna reroll. <laughs> for that, if he's gonna have his, his head stuck in that for for a few hours, I do. I'm just asking roll. if that's what you guys do. Mm. Wait, what's going on? Go I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna make nice with the owl and surprise uh, Elena when the, uh, he gets back. Okay. <laughs> wait, can, wait, do you have animals speak with animals? Or something. 
Ah. Uh, I don't remember. I think that's well, that, no, that, it's a level one. Check my sheet. <laughs> I can't right I now. I think it's level one. It is. I just don't know if he has. I know he has animal friendship. Yeah. I don't think I actually have to speak with the animals. I figured I'd uh, do that. Uh, I tr I'll try to check. I, I only cared about uh, being able to speak with cats, and that's all, so. Yay. You really like cats, though, don't you? <laughs> yes, Roddy, cats are awesome. What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, I, I am interacting with a pregnant one every week. Uh -huh. But not touching her because she has wounds, and I don't want to touch a wounded cat. What if it's a disease? I just feed her. Okay. And talk to her. Anyway. So. You guys basically do that for the next, like, hour. As mm -hmm. the Elena, you enter the tavern. Wait, 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 wait. Ro uh, uh, Luke rolls stealth to be hidden within the, the owl's fluff or something. No, I'm not going to be inside the owl's fluff. I'm going to be beside All I imagine, it's like... Into the fluff. It's like Elena enters the room. The cat's missing. Cat po head pokes out the owl. <laughs> yes, that's you what know I what? That's funny enough. Yes, let's do that. Can uh, we do that, baby? I mean, I won't need him to roll stealth because that's more of a player interaction. It's different if it's player interactions compared to someone trying to be secretive. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll work on a job. We're gonna. I mean, if the play, if uh, it was a matter of if the player asks who he wants to do it, that's different. Yeah, yeah, that. that. Thank you. I um, enter the tavern, yep. slamming the door, <laughs> and I scream, "Where is my owl?" <laughs> the tavern <laughs> owner looks at you confused, He's like. He thinks for a second. Oh, that owl. Um, last I saw, they, they were heading towards your room. They? Did the cat eat it? I, I don't think it. The owl was kind of the same size as the cat. But you reminder, understand. most she of that is, is blue. She's super small underneath. That, that's all. It's just blue. That is what if the cat did it. Small and tired. She's tired. <laughs> She ignites her hands. Oh, wait, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, hear me, guys, out. So, the owl's gonna be, uh, like, uh, in forehand. He's gonna tell uh, that the, the cat, that the owl ate the fucking cat, and then, you know, uh, t Cole's gonna pop his head out of the fucking floor. <laughs> Can we do that? That's up to you guys. Hmm? You guys up to that? <laughs> I'm, I'm the victim of Joe. Why would you ask me? Yeah, Luke. I'm asking Luke. Uh, I'm sorry. I got very confused midway through that, and then. Yeah, like, like, not, let's just go with the original joke. Then. Okay. Yeah. As Elena, yeah, Elena, Elena what hands. are you doing? Are you gonna try to kick down the door, or are you just opening it normally? Give me a second. I heard like next play. Okay. Well, she she starts running towards the room and she ignites her hands and starts uh, running like a like Naruto and then slams the door open with her hand you know still ignited this probably sets the door on fire <laughs> she's like and, and she screams get the cat away from my house <laughs> you scream that and you see no cat in the room <laughs> As the owl looks over and is like, whoo! <laughs> and then the cat pops out of <laughs> No, let's wait for a bit more. Use a few more. Nah, <laughs> since Luke said it, it's fine. The owl, the... You just see a cat head just poke out of the middle of the owl. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> she makes this... Screeching noise as she tries to get uh, the owl away from the cat. Are you like doing? <laughs> the, uh, does the owl panic? Here's the thing. I, I remove my flaming hands. Owls have very strong grips, and currently it is holding on to the thing with its claws ready. So, uh, 
Elena, please make a strength roll against your owl. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fail. I, I called you fail. A 13? Okay, owl. You technically have a negative 3 because you're an animal, but you know. Okay, that's a 16. <laughs> <laughs> so you grab your owl and start yanking her as you just basically are like lifting up her feathers as the rest of her is just clawed and connected to the thing. As she does start panicking, she's like, oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> Her feathers start flapping like, as well. I'm just gonna like put my head on her. The cat like, just looks up and yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna sleep. Elena. What? Dude. He said he walks over and puts his shoulder on you and what? Sleep. Uh. <laughs> Forcing Elena to sleep. Nice. She's, she's threatening my cat. She's, she's gonna... She's more likely just trying to pull the owl away. Yeah. And, and the owl is not liking it. <laughs> because it's panicked now. It's just yeah. grabbed and has no fucking idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. Should I roll this or is her help, help low enough for me to just basically get it? Oh, well. The only reason I don't like the sleep spell, to be honest. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of OP on, the, on, on lower levels. You'll have to roll cry because she's still a player. Plus, it's yeah. 5d6, and I'm pretty sure she has, like, 6 health. Oh, wait. It's 5d6? 7. Oh, 7. Uh, wait, give me a second. I mean, you could just click the button, cry, so... I know I'm fucking... Does it have a button? No, it doesn't have a button. Oh, it should. That's weird. Weird. What doesn't have a button? Uh, the spell sleep on D&D Beyond. Yeah. It, it, it does it even... It does, I don't think it requires... It's a... Isn't it a save? No. Yeah. It is... You roll a certain amount of dice, and you have to succeed the enemy's health or match it, and then they pass out. Oh. It's 5d8. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could roll all ones for all I know, so... Yeah. Perhaps. 14. 14. Double her health. So, Elena, you just... You're pulling on your hours. It's like, oh, oh, And then you just... Onto the floor. Going to my hands. I'm just gonna put you on the floor. While you come down. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold her over to one of the beds and just put her down there. Okay, the spell lasts for, I'm pretty sure, an hour. A minute. A minute. Okay. A minute eventually passes if you don't wake her up. We just, I'll just make sure, uh, sleep, it's, yeah, in one minute longer. Okay, after a minute, Elena, you wake up. She, uh, at the moment she wakes up, she screams, no! Your owl just looks at you. She goes, uh, she goes to the owl and tries to hug it, and, like, take it. <laughs> uh, Cat's still there. <laughs> she hisses at the, at the cat. You hiss at the cat. Yes. I'm pretty sure you reverse the rolls. How, how, how close are you right now? Probably I'm within close. attack range. Within within clawing distance, I suppose. Tim. Paw on nose. <laughs> okay. You put your paw on her nose. Claw, I think. Paw. I heard paw. Paw. The thing with the beans. Yeah, so it is the paw, Roddy. The claw's attached to it, but it's the paw. <laughs> Are I'm you being clawing? Nice. Oh. She looks at him. And he looks at her. And he looks at me. I look at him. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> she tries to pull away her owl like still. Don't him don't you dare eat my owl. If you want to date your owl it would have already happened. Fair but no not eating owl. <laughs> Understand? 
Remind me, did I ever talk to... Yeah, no, no I don't think so. She saw you turn human, but you never said anything to her. Yeah, she can't even ignore him. She was panic, I don't know if she would even have technically saw it. I just imagine him being like, don't talk to me like a pole. I think you would s still see it, you're just panicked. Alright, alright, alright. I, I wanna know if they actually know. Because <laughs> okay. if Roddy wants to rule it where uh, Elena doesn't know. I think that's funny. I want to see if uh, Cole would recognize that. <laughs> right. That will change my action spirit, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll say then, uh, Luke, roll in insight. Uh, I Should I roll out? to see if I have seen it? <laughs> it's up to you, Roddy. I mean, everyone except you is also in the room, but you, you know. I, okay, I kind of want to. Um, Actually, okay. wait a minute. You would. You would probably know because everyone started carrying back this random kid for. Yeah, this random hour. kid, to be fair. Yeah, but yeah. I was hiding behind stuff. Did I even see the kid turn into the cat? I would just have assumed that. You they... probably saw it because he turned back after an hour and you guys had to carry him for that entire time, so. Yeah. I still would like to roll. If I, if I roll less than a 10, then. Then I haven't seen yes, it. I roll, then for God if I, I, I can't. If I roll a 10 or above, I have seen it. <laughs> right, he's like, a I can't. Four. I have no idea he's a cat. <laughs> okay, a well, person. either way, Luke, go ahead and <laughs> roll a... Olivia. Go ahead and roll an insight anyway. I'm not going to make this a super hard thing. Don't, just don't roll one. Don't worry, I'll roll. <laughs> no uh, characters. Uh, roll a minus one. <laughs> I got a minus two. What? <laughs> Insight, yes? Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, you, you put your paw on her and you realize as you're looking in her eyes, this woman has no fucking idea who I am. <laughs> Brilliant. I will say nothing. Okay. <laughs> you just have your paw on your nose then. Uh, and, and more more accurately, I'm meow in response. Meow. Don't ever touch my cat. My owl. Cat. Yeah, don't touch my cat. That's a bird. <laughs> hey, that's my cat, you bastard. You bitch. Never. Never in a thousand years. Do not touch my owl in, a, in any bad way. Do you, do you even do you say all that while the while the uh, cat just has the paw on your nose? Yes. Is she kind of like uh, <laughs> tries to you know pull the pull the cat away again? Uh, uh, pull the owl away? Fucking bullshit. Oh, you don't you don't even grab the cat. <laughs> I'm absorbed in blue. <laughs> so o Olga let go of him. She he she 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 turns back to Piaget and she's like, it's but the cat is a him, right? Mm, perhaps. <laughs> I'm doing a gimpy right now. <laughs> I'm doing oh, a no. piece. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe. He's doing, he's, he's doing a smug face as you. <laughs> no one wants to check the gender of Luke. I mean, I know. Uh, I will just... feel super awkward to fucking grab the, the cat. Yeah, that's why I'm saying we're not doing that. I love the, the tail and see if it has balls. Hey guys. Welcome back, Ryder. Uh, Ryder came in at the weirdest moment. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just don't talk about cutting off toes and and we will have the perfect amount of weirdness. But cutting off toes, cry, cutting them off. I will cut your dick off. You have to get to America first, you teenager. Yeah. 
America. But anyway, me. right now, uh, right now, Luna is kind of threatening my cat. As you're just in the room. I imagine, like, reading whatever. You can't read. I just remembered that. So you're just looking at the pictures <laughs> in this little book. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, actually, the uh, second response is, uh, after being told, just tilts head. Oh, God, let go of him. Oh, God. Oga looks down at the cat, looks up, starts Let flapping her wings. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Oga's not trying to drop, Oga's currently trying not to drop you on the hard wooden floor. <laughs> I'm Stop just gonna point me. Just right in your eardrum too, because the way you're holding her. Okay, Stop. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and just pick up the cat while it's hanging from the fucking clothes or whatever however. Okay, you walk over and it'll go up on oh, you, let's this, go. Uh, this has Ubuntu on it. What? What the fuck's that? Why did I do this? Oh my gosh, I'm almost done with this, finally. I was so Is fucking that, uh... And then it looks at the owl and she's like, Never do that again. Who? 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 Wait, Ooh. wait. Oh, uh, was I let down nicely or something? Yeah, Cry grabbed you from the owl and the owl finally let you go. Okay. She bites the feathers of, of the owl. <laughs> Just, even though owl bones normally can't do this, you just feel a slap across your face. <laughs> That's a... I mean, you did just bite her, so... You were the one that was drawing on my gym drums! Woo! <laughs> well, fuck you! Too. Woo! 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 No! It's like a it's like a child arguing with its parents. Who is the child? Elena? It's hard to decide. <laughs> both. They're both acting like children. I think that I think that owl should be the par parent because because she was the one that actually fucking cared for about the cat not being brought. Let's go, we need to feed you. And she grabs the owl by... by... by something. She Why like... the owl grabs onto your arms. What do you wanna eat? Ooh. <laughs> too bad, we have only fish. <laughs> just, just, just the amount of the owl here. I could find new seaweed. We could, try, we could try to smoke it again. Ooh. Aren't they all carnivores? They are. They are carnivores, yeah. We could find you a rat. Ooh. Or a different cat. Looks at you concerned. <laughs> I am mean Piaget's cat. <laughs> you think. Out of the corner of your eye, you just see the cat just glaring. <laughs> the owl gave you a look as well. It's like, wait, what? I wait. And it's okay, so Cole is like in Pieshin's arms. He's just like, well, I just imagine him like putting his head head up again. Like his head up is just barely below Pieshin's chin, and they're both just glaring at her. Okay, maybe we can. <gasps> I know there's seagulls around. We can we can catch one seagull. Bird eat bird. No, no. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> they do that all the time, actually. Yeah. I can suggest the owl because the owls are actually made to just grab them right out of the sky. Yeah, I was making bird. a joke. 
Do you want it toasted or frozen? Yeah, well, let go. let's go. Your army flies off. Hey, come back! She starts chasing after it. I'm gonna roll for the owl real quick. Ah, oh, 15, yeah. You watch as the owl swoops down practically like an eagle and just yanks a fish out of the water. Wait, out of the water? I thought we were inside. No, we're on a collection of boats, basically. I mean, yeah, you guys were inside, but the owl, like, flew out the window. Oh, I see. Uh, does she come back with the, uh, the fish? Yeah, she does. It's, like, a pretty big one. It does not fit through the window if she tries to go in with it sideways. <laughs> so, like, she tries to fly, and it just goes <laughs> against the wall. This is, like, those fucking funny doll compilations. Do, do you want me to toast it, or do you like it frozen with a, uh, with a, a lemon on the side? You watch as Olga grabs like... onto part of the fish and just rips a chunk out. Yeah. You're gonna read it raw? And she starts That's swallowing it. Thing. You animal. As the fish is you flailing know. around, technically the fish don't feel pain, so it's just flailing. It's really fucking sad. <laughs> I'm just gonna stab it. In, I'm just gonna stab the fish in the head because the longer okay. it lives, the, the tenser, the worse the meat get. Meat gets. Okay, you're just. You don't have to make a roll, it's a fish. It has an AC of probably one. It's literally just a fish. Yeah, it's AC a fish. of 20, man. <laughs> Roderick's like, it's the hardest thing to hit, dude. You just don't you know, know about it. You just don't know about it. <laughs> a mosquito is the hardest thing to hit. Okay. Okay. So... Uh, by the way, my grandpa offered us job, but it's shady, it involves stealing, and stuff like that, which sounds exciting, let's do it. <laughs> Maybe you should have considered asking for more details. Nah, you can ask him for more details. Yeah. Well, well might as um, well, I will go here now. Who closed the door? Who opened the door? And it wasn't <laughs> hard. The ghost. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna stop reading. I mean, looking at the pictures and be like, what are we doing? Eating. Something, something shady job from uh, Elena's grandfather. Wait. Oh. I didn't say we have to accept it. I just said it's, it's an offer. We could. In the chat, did someone just flatline? Fuck my headphones. Roddy is just a cheapskate against refusing to get new headphones. <laughs> mine I, mine I, are I perfectly healthy. I don't need to change them. They literally have front flatlining every time you move your head. I got dollar store headphones, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I offered to give you better ones, dude. These ones work beautifully. They're you sound broken. like you're in some type of microwave. <laughs> <laughs> That's a oh, those aren't my button. gaming headphones. I know, I was just saying. These are my... I've uh, heard your gaming headphones before. They're a lot better. I'm just saying, right now you sound like you're in a microwave. Yeah, these are... These are the beats. Anyway... <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Rather. So, er everyone's together again, we're just like ambitions. Looks at you guys, so what do you do? 2K! Okay. You can't do that, she's not in the game! Too badly, I fucking her. Anyway. I didn't know Roddy was a lesbian. No, <laughs> it's, just, it's just Bulgarian squares. Okay, anyway. Friends. Let's see. Friends. Is there is there a place I'm gonna ask Roman's everyone? Country band. Let hey me guys. <laughs> Roger, what did you did ask? You I was gonna ask the group. Did you guys see any? Do you think there's a place on this, well, big boat, I guess, where they sell uh, blade sharpeners? I can't think of the old-fashioned term for. Probably. Stones, yeah, sharpening stones. 
probably will, this is, they don't see a reason why they wouldn't. Mm. I think we should sharpen our blades. While we think of a quest. Wait, what, the, what was that boy use? Let me just see if I, those actually need sharpening. Rape. I have a rapier, I don't think you sharpen those. Wait, I'm, I'm actually curious enough. You can sharpen the point. Actually, they have a blade on them. They're made for slashing. Got it. Slashing and dashing and hashing and mashing. It's just an elegant Even way if you don't it. sharpen it, there is still maintenance that you can run with just about any weapon, so... Okay. Then, uh, yeah. still... I can tighten the leather on the, the, the hilt, too. So, boys and one girl. Yeah. And whatever, and whoever... Okay, boys and... F no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> so, what do you guys decide to do? You guys can go to any sea lord. Do you guys decide to only go to Kane? Let's go to Kane. Fuck his mom. Hmm? Well, I mean, we did get the uh, favor from Black Dagger, but that's me talking in the meta. Which means we still have to pay back that favor. <clears throat> what? Did we save his from brother? Borrowing the ship. Other person, uh, Roddy. Wrong person, oh. Reddy. Wait, what favor? I don't know. Black Dagger, he gave you guys the boat. They, no, wait, Kane did. Yeah, Kane gave you the Dagger. boat. Yeah, Black Dagger is Kane, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't he give us the boat in exchange for a job? A very yeah, small we... one, but you know. Mm -hmm. What was your job? By the yeah, way, let's go already. There are three Sea Lords you guys can go to. It's always up to you guys on what you do. Let's. Fuck his mom! What's with you and wanting to do that so much, Roddy? He's just Bulgarian square, Eric. I know, I'm just pointing it out. You want to do it all the time. Eric is bo literally Bulgarian square. What's the restaurant? Square. You're in the tavern. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, oh, no. let's order some food and go. Right. Right. Alewife. I call her for the ale wife. She ale likes... wife? It's the woman yeah, who drinks what... the ale. Ale mm. life. <laughs> she walks over. What what is it? I took a chicken leg to go. A what? Mm. Chicken leg. Oh, okay. A what? Anyone else want anything? A leg of a chicken. Oh. A wing. Oh yeah. Chicken a fish. leg. I forgot fish. Okay, what about you, sir, and your cat? Okay. <laughs> I don't think they serve, they serve anything else here than fish. I, I, I we, ser we serve primarily fish, seaweed, some tea. It's gonna be hard okay. to get his chicken leg, but we can probably manage. Okay, I'll take a fish then. Okay. A hard, uh, a hot cup of. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> God, cup of cum. Man, we don't serve that here. <laughs> Maybe go to the brothel if you're looking for that. No, I was curious if you could find it. Go to the brothel. Just curious. <laughs> As she walks off. What's <laughs> that? La Goderia. Good. You just say good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Chewbacca? Who's that? Uh, a bear? <laughs> oh, hello, bear. How are you? <laughs> Am I fucking <bucking> rough? <laughs> okay. So. So. You guys. <laughs> I'm rolling out your 20s! Three natural 20s in a row, holy shit. Uh, What's up with this dice? Okay, so. one. <laughs> you lost all your luck in those four natural 20s. I mean, are you surprised? No, but either way, you guys make your way 
to see Lord Kane as it takes three hours. It is now, not three hours, it takes one hour, which means it is currently now. So it was 12 at the tavern. And Evelyn had to take an hour to get there, and it takes an hour. So it's Elena. currently two. It's currently get two. Those, get those reports, Elena. Ma you don't even like World of Warcraft. Why the fuck are you imitating a Murloc? Murloc. Because fuck you, that's why. Ah, oh, fucking Americans. <clears throat> I'm fucking Bulgarian. Mm -hmm. I able to make up her mind. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have the code written down, by the way. Anyway, you guys make it to see Lord Kane. As Ooh, Maxon looks up, I and mean, he's like, Hello, party of people. And a cat, and an owl. Hello, party of people. People that are children of people that are sent to murder me. <laughs> what? Hey, come to finish the job. Okay. Hello, handsome. What's another word for a party? A group. Wait, does he know no, about our parents? No, the... I, I don't oh, know the okay. joke. Okay. It, it's not a joke. There's, there's an actual another word for a party. Uh, the four letters. I'll be surprised I was about to say posse. I was going to say team. I am team. And eh, we're not gonna figure it out, I'll be honest with you. A posse? A bash. Oh. A, a what? Oh, a that's like old timey fucking how do you type shit. A push? <laughs> okay, well, hey, either we... way, you guys, he looks at you and he's like, so are you here to talk to Kane? Mm -hmm. No, we're here to talk to we do. That's a shocker. <laughs> He like looks at Elena and she says, "We're here to talk to you." He's like, "That's a shocker." She tries to do it in the most seductive uh, fucking voice she can pull off. Only to you. All right, all right, all right. All right. You're about to get clawed. <laughs> I'm going Ow. to attack you. No, I haven't yet. Uh, I'm about to. <laughs> I'm going to save just for jokes and funny reasons. Roll for roll performance on your seduction. Uh. Oh, God. Roll performance on seduction. It's gonna be a nine. I I wouldn't expect Elena to not be used to flirting with people. To be fair, she's jo she's not even serious about. Flirting. I know, she's but just, still, it's like she's obviously fucking around. Does it every does it every chance anyway? <laughs> I know. He looks at her. And he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, beautiful. She oh, actually does. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> gets beheaded because that's his granddaughter. You see. <laughs> <laughs> she actually turns completely right and she and she walks off. <laughs> we knew she's the maid of okay, you all know where you'll find him. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so we get to the door, right? Grandpa, yeah. your son <laughs> is this. You're trying to seduce if me. I, if I don't have a yeah, get him killed. Yeah. <laughs> If I remember, the code was uh, three knocks, uh, pause, knock, one knock, I mean, and then pause and two knocks, right? As he's doing that, I just uh, burst, yeah. uh, I burst through the door. <laughs> okay, you burst through the door and you just see him go with his crossbow, he just aims it at the door. <laughs> no, give me a second, my mother's calling me up there. She hides behind Piagin. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> To be fair, you just, just burst in, so... I know, I know, I just... Uh... No, shut up. He looks at you all. Oh, it's you guys. He puts his crossbow down. You see, you see him down with the seals. <laughs> yes, what is it? I'm back. Welcome back. I almost hey, shot your friends. Hey, hey, hey. Is is there a, is there a table? There is, yeah. It's it's to sit two people because you know he kind of lives alone. Did Lena get shot? No, he I just aimed the crossbow. I, I am hopping. I am hopping on the 
table uh, if there's if it's not too cluttered. It is. No, what? Wait. If it even if it is, I'm hopping on the table. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not too cluttered because he's uh, you know. He's a leader, so he has to be more organized. Unlike his and <clears throat> human as well, yeah. I yeah, he's human. So. <laughs> Sorry, like I know you don't like oh, well. humans, but he's human. And he's also an assassin. Yeah, I know, I know. Neither I'm of gonna... you are on my good list right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna poke uh, Cole's bag. I'm gonna poke the bag of Cole's head with a mage hand. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you, say, you said what now? I tr I'm gonna stealthily fucking try to poke the back of your head with a mage hand. Oh. J <laughs> looks shook and just darts off the table. <laughs> poke! Yeah. Fuck the shit out of him! Yeah, you're gonna make him fucking put itching powder in your drawers. Luke, as you're like darting, <laughs> the door does close because it, you know. Hilts make them close, so you almost run into the door, but then you turn. I want to do that. Run into a door? No, put itching powder in someone's straws. Oh, okay. Like, Luke, you almost run into a door. I want to do that now. You want to run into a door? Full force. 30 feet per second. Nah, full force. 60 feet per second, because you're dashing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make it worse. <laughs> yes. You break your nose. <laughs> That's one point of bludgeoning damage. Congratulations. You are an idiot. <laughs> okay, so. You guys are in here and he turns and six. So, what can I do for you all? We are here to inquire about the job you the learn about. Ah, uh, yes. The job. He starts going through his papers, and he's like, I thought you guys should come by tomorrow for that. <laughs> we don't have a lot of things. I thought, I thought we wouldn't even come, but you know. <laughs> because I thought the, the others weren't into shitty shit. Well, I don't know. It's up to you guys, as he pulls out some papers. Of course, you guys are stealing from pirates, which, let's be honest, how is that really stealing? Because we steal. He's stealing from the bad guys to become good guys. I wouldn't say that. I'm stronger, good guys. Yeah. I mean, technically, a pirate stealing from a pirate is not allowed, but you guys aren't pirates, so... Yeah, we are a princess, a prince, and a prince, and a cat. And an owl. Oh yeah, I forgot about yeah. her. A sassy Olga cat. looks at you. <laughs> Well, you you don't even do much for the party. Oh, so, <laughs> what do you mean? You oh. <laughs> wait, wait, has anyone? F I look at the others to see if anyone has figured out I have actually no fucking clue what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who? He's dying! B! Oh no, Olga, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so. So. So, what are we supposed to. to. He pulls to... out this little letter. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Uh. Mr. Blackhand stole some documents from. It's the think. same group. It's the same fucking group. No, no. We don't have to travel fifty. Uh, someone's name. Years. No, someone here is named Blackhand because his hands are black from explosions. Yeah, got oh, good, cause. <laughs> I, that really was the same na name as that group, so I got. Very I, I know. Fast. Uh, they stole from one of the Sea Lords. Sea Lord Sarah. That lady we didn't meet yet. Yes. He took, I think, her necklace. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been able to leave her boat since he took it. So, you know, you need to go in and steal the necklace back. What is her? Is the necklace, uh, 
infused with the power of beauty and without it she looks like shit. I, I don't know what it has. I haven't seen her since, you know, they took it because she hasn't left her boat. What does it look like so we have some sort of knowledge on what to look like? Well, it's a golden chain with a little star at the end, you know, like a sea star. Oh, like, She's a like Patrick Star. Oh, like the like the fancy like the fancy decoration the the, the, the starfish. Like the fancy star like fish that that we some yes get in yes the exactly water. like that. Great. She's. A, I am telling you now. She's a woman that doesn't need her only way to walk. Anyway, you have the mission. If you want to take it, it is right here as he slips it forward. Of course, you probably won't get paid as much from Kane. I mean, Cartman. My bad, I'm Kane. <laughs> I have brain damage, 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 apparently. Are uh, you having the munchie, Grandpa? Apparently so. I'm only 60. I forgot. He was fucking 40 when we beat her ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking buff 40 year old. And now he's 60. <laughs> he hasn't changed much, he just has white hair now. No, he's still handsome. Why the fuck are she you really likes with people with white hair? <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm trying to make it weird. Cause Zin says porn or something, I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> Slash you across the face. Stab it. <laughs> I'm choking, obviously. I know, but stab it. Get some heal. All right. So both of you. So I suppose we could do some surgery around. He sits down. He's like, "Oh, of course, you know, you guys can do a lot of stuff, but it's also up to you guys." What else? What else can we do? Uh, you can speak to the other sea lords to see what jobs they have. No, oh, I thought you could, uh, said we could steal, uh, we could steal your, your, your uh, boy for everything's uh, shoes. Why would I have you steal my shoes? No, no, no not your shoes. Uh, my Just son. buy new headphones, holy shit. Uh, uh, my she can't really do that in the middle of the game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, your uh, Maxim's uh, shoes. Why would I have you steal from my own people? I don't know. There's no one who they will do without shoes. Probably just go get a new pair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll know his shoe says then. What do you want to know? Elena, <laughs> I, I'm confused about you right now. She's, she's, she's laughing. Roddy, you might want to fix it. It's actually doing it all the time now. I, I think Evelyn, I think Aunt Evelyn dropped her when she was a child. <laughs> I think it would be she... Elvin who dropped her. No, neither dropped me. If you say so, dear. <laughs> I just fell into the abyss of death. You wish. I don't be edgy. You liar. I quite literally did. You liar. Anyway. Fucking fake ass. Liar. <laughs> Fucking liar. <laughs> you all see these scars. Mm. These scars. Hey, Batman, you want to see my scars? <laughs> they grow this crap. The grandfather in the background knowing he, she's talking about the, the time where he fucking shot her. <laughs> anyway, and go. like a liar. <laughs> anyway, whatever you guys want to do, go do it, you know? If you guys want to oh, yeah. go talk to the other Sea Lords and see what they have. Krillish might have something for you guys, but you know, he's straight to the point, so he probably wouldn't say too much. Me and Krillish have a good understanding of each other. Yeah, and then Sarah might have a mission. Of course, I'm the only one who deals with stolen belongings and stuff like that, because, you know, I'm assassin thief dude. Mm -hmm. That's how you describe yourself? The assassin yeah. thief? Yes. Yeah. 
assassin dude. I'm murderer. Of Aren't you like the leader of like the biggest assassin guild? I was at our, one point. Our land. At one point, you yes. should have like a higher status than that. I mean. Aren't you the son you say, of one of the you heroes say, like, of the Grandmaster? Hold on. Aren't Black you the land. son of one of the world's heroes? Can't show that I am. Can't show that I am. Can't say that you I'm are, is what you said. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that I am. Don't know. I can't. No, not sure. No. How could how? I'm confused what's happening. Oh, oh, didn't they tell you what they did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't you? Didn't your dad tell you what he did when he was younger? Yeah. That sounds like a great orc to me. I mean, not a hero. I mean, he kind of cheated a little bit. Come on. How did he cheat? How did he cheat? In the, in the fight with my grandfather. He he went into the, the real world. I kind of call that cheating. Uh, uh, if a target, if the other person can't hit you and you're in audible combat. It was kind of cheating. Just yeah, wait. Uh, tactical retreat. Just wait till you hear about ghosts. I already know about ghosts. Trust me, buddy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, do we take the job or not? Yes, let's, let's let's take the job and then steal Max's fish shoes. Why his fish shoes. Wrong? Either way, we're stealing those shoes, I guess. <laughs> right, it really just wants those shoes. I actually kind of want to steal them, Ria. Boom. I'm not even horny! Alright, he's yeah. just obsessed with stealing people. Everyone has a weird thing they want to do this session, this campaign. Roger wants to cut off people's toes. Roger wants, or, no, wants to- No, I want to sharpen some blades. You wanted to cut off toes last time. Oh yeah, yeah, I did that too. Yeah, Roger wants to steal shoes. Cry wants a little boy with him. And Luke wants to be a cat. What? I forgot I did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you made me so hazy. <laughs> I know. You aren't? He's too young to be one right now. Anyway. Let's continue. <laughs> so. Yeah, sure. You guys take this job. I mean, it's up to you guys. So would you happen to know what work this black and lives and what part of the city would be easy for the diamond way? Not really. I don't keep track on those people. You might be able to ask around, but that'd be it. Mm. Alright, we should put this with our head up. Should we give the necklace back to you or just go to Sarah? You can bring it to her, so send me a letter that she got it. He's gonna turn uh, back at his people and be like, Stop using Termithology, you fuckers! Can I look around for anything that Please. can cause... Can I look around for anything that can cause irritation to the skin and itching? You're on a boat. That but doesn't I... mean there isn't a, a, a substance that I know that it co doesn't cause those things. You're not an assassin, I told you would know that shit. I will let you roll a nature check with disadvantage, because there's not a lot around other than, like, fish. <laughs> you, you can always use either wood dust or metal shards. She got an eight. Good luck getting eight. metal shards. I will get metal shards. You want to sharpen your blade? I'm gonna take your uh, metal oh, shards. You, I ain't taking that much metal. What? Awesome. Okay. Well, either way, <laughs> Radu with an eight. As you're trying to figure out and trying to find some stuff, kind of have a harder time, you know. You slip into the ocean to die. No. That sucks. That was like. Jesus, the water's deadly, dude. Water's <laughs> you slip into the water and a shark eats you. Crunch. <laughs> She's a devil fruit user, I guess. Okay, well, either way. 
Uh, Evelyn, you sadly don't really find anything useful currently. Oh, Evelyn. I mean, Elena, yeah. Sorry, you're looking for something that irritates skin. I'm used to be having Evelyn do that. Okay, um... Hmm. Do I see anything spicy? Considering... Um, not really. No. Mm. Sorry, Roddy, right, you're in the ocean. It'd be hard to find stuff. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. I don't know. Are there spicy fish? What, what, would the know. kitchen happen to have, hold on to spices? Well, you guys aren't down there. I know. I'm just asking in general. Probably. They probably have a little. I look, at, the, I look at Olga and I... Oh, and, and Pepper. Could you remind me the name? It was... Did Black he have Man. a name, right? For what, Black Cry? Man. I mean, he uh, he was black, black hand some someone. Oh no, he was just yeah. black hand. Uh huh. You probably don't have to write it down. You guys will probably just encounter him once. I, I just wanted to be sure if I have to ask a person about black hand or like an Andrew ha black hand or whatever. Okay, I'm just like you probably won't need to write it down. He's not that important to the story. I mean, depends if we if we're too slow with him, we might have. Yeah, you just kill him, and then now you guys are like, oh no. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's oh, go. Oh, 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 oh. Can you go to the kitchen and, and find the, the most spicy shit, spiciest shit you can find, and bring it to me? Look at things for a little bit, and decide to do it because why not? <laughs> Good girl. Uh, I drag the way to tell her going to the. Fucking find a black I, I'm surprised at the Sal's intelligence, honestly. I'm surprised it's alive. I've been putting <laughs> house on the live for years, and <laughs> she's like 20 something. 20. <laughs> Nature just gave up trying to explain to Evelyn the why the owl had to die. <laughs> Listen, Roddy, the owl has to die now! <laughs> the stranger was like, oh my god, this woman keeps praying for her owl to not die. I'm just gonna make it immortal because I'm done with this shit. Eh. Don't birds generally live like a really long time? No, Owls live four years. Uh, <laughs> yep, we googled it. The, especially the, the species of owl that she is. The oldest owl I've seen is like 20. Like, the oldest owl I've seen on the internet is 20. But that, they're also dead currently, so... Like, wouldn't the longest age be, like, slightly shorter? Wouldn't the longest recorded age be, you know, slightly short, shorter than the actual age one can reach? Because, you know... No, because, years? for humans, for example, it says that our average life expectancy is, like, 80 years, but people live, like, past 100. Yeah, there was this one woman that was 130 and her son was 100 and something. And I'm like, oh my god, this woman said, I, I ain't, uh, I'm i gonna care for this idiot for the rest of his life. And <laughs> she actually achieved <laughs> She outlived her fucking son. I don't know. But come, oh. come on, she's 130 <laughs> and he's 100 and something, uh, like 20 years uh, younger. Okay, so, well, you know, let's let's continue because we're getting off yeah, topic. Yeah, sure. Let's fucking go find a day who stole from a sea lord and stab him to death or whatever. Yeah. So, we begin. I'm gonna look around for Olga when she uh, to see if she comes back anytime soon. Okay, after about. 10 ish, 20 minutes. Olga finally lands. Looks at her. Did you bring the stuff? You see her mouth is full of something. Like it has a bag hanging off of it. Okay, good. Because I was like, how are you not dying? <laughs> Olga then goes, what? <laughs> As you see, like, a bit more than, like, what you would think was sitting in her mouth, like, comes out. Like this string of stuff. So, what did she bring? She brought you. 
spices. Like spicy spices? Yes. Who the fuck knows? Check yourself. Well, you gonna open the bag? I am gonna check myself, yes. Okay, Rabbi. I'm gonna lick each one. <laughs> Okay. You're gonna lick each one. <laughs> I'm just making sure that this actually exists real quick. Okay, yes it does. Ready. You lick one. Make a con save. <laughs> I'm gonna fail. Nice. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had ghost peppers? No. Oh! Where am I gonna you find ghost fucking, peppers in Bulgaria? Right? Okay, well, they're the hottest spice. They're the hottest pepper. No, that's not true. That, that's yeah. old information. Okay, well, still, you basically got ghost pepper. Mm, nice. Right, you essentially like... have a fucking probably commoner killer. Commoner killer. You got kill. the devil's cock in your mouth. That's basically what it is. What? A mm. tread one. <laughs> what? What's the hottest what? pepper in the world? Oh yeah, there is one hotter. It's called the Coraline. Coraline. Pep. Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. Carolina Reaper. Oh, but still. Then you so get the second hottest. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. That's still hot. But that's still here, here's that's the other thing: is I believe those peppers are generally inconsistent. Yeah, but still. Ghost peppers, like, if they're fucking bad. Oh, okay. yeah. If you were to try to eat ice cream, it would not soothe at all. Okay. After I endure the pain for... For, for like, the, three hours. For, for the, the next, uh, the rest of the mission, I'm gonna do something with the peppers. Okay. Wait, I got a question. Is, the, is, is that amount of spice, like, fucking enough to kill a comet or something? Depends how much you put in. Because Roderick had it once, and he, like, sprinted to my house for milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah. That like an amazing you... thing. Considering how it... far apart do you guys live from each other? Well, he was at his yeah. friend's house, but it, I was down the road at the time. I was, like, a good, so, like, like ten-minute walk. Yeah. And he sprinted. Okay, that must be spicy. Yeah, because yeah, his friend didn't have milk, and I was the only person he knew <laughs> yeah, at the time down there. So he had to run all the way to my house. He literally got to my house and was like, I need milk, and I just poured him some. And I just see him, like, sweaty as fuck. Yeah, I was at the kitchen eating some donuts, and then you just showed up. It's like, wow, that is such a coincidence. <laughs> okay. So she's mm -hmm. if you didn't perfect for the next one hour, two hours, three hours. Yeah, it is bad. About, I'd say two hours, you're like coughing and sweating the and, fuck out of your she, mind. But she's just licked it though, but okay. I, I rolled well, so I'm going to Ready, I've seen people eat such tiny peppers and still have such horrible reactions. Yeah, they die, exactly. They yeah, they can die from it. Big flatline. Yeah, this guy, there's plenty of cases where people have died from eating ghost peppers. Holy <laughs> shit. The, what I have in mind is even better. <laughs> 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 okay, well, let's continue with the thing. Okay. Actually, wait, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Find where Maxim lives. Are you like telling this? Olga looks at you a little concerned. <laughs> Come on, Olga. You know I love you. I wouldn't, uh, you know. I will give you. I I will pay for the best of, for whatever you want. Olga still looks concerned. I mean, think about it. You're just like, ah, uh, yes, Olga. Eat. Just give this to Maxim. I know it no, can no. kill him, but give it to him anyway. No, I said find where he lives. Bog. <laughs> why are you such a... Why are you such a... Olga will make her way. 
to try and find him. Oh, shit, Let's continue. Oh, I don't. <laughs> in, in years, you did get bonked in character. <laughs> I don't mind. At this point, I'm used to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I already planned on killing Max and got it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Maxon. He's trying to be so nice, and now he has to die for it. Mm -mm. Die for mm -mm. his sins. <laughs> by by the way, if if too many people die that don't need to die, I, I'm gonna do stuff. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't think he'll die. I'm just making a joke. You know. Because he's a dragon. I'm joking. Anyway. Why would he be I, a god? What the fuck? Because I'm accusing everyone of being a god at this point. I mean, you're technically not wrong. Everyone who's not you guys is technically me, so. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah. You guys continue on your way. I don't know what you guys decide to do. I suppose we, uh... So, we know who stole what. Is it a matter of just retrieving the item effectively, or what? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I would imagine so. Now the question is if it's on hit on the, on the person, like, in their inventory or on their top. Yeah, right, we should have some... Bystanders, if they know a person old black hand, that would be a good start. Yes, probably you like you should probably act like a pirate or something. We should yeah. also ask, we should also ask uh, that we are trying to hire him because you know, otherwise, he will think we are like you know, looking for him and he would not uh, come to us. But if the worst president we're hiring, we want to hire him, he might come faster. Mm -hmm. He might come to us instead of us looking for him. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I don't know, I don't think it really matters. So, what do you guys do? We ask, we probably ask some bystanders on, on a date about black hand. Okay. Oh man, I have so fucking... You guys go up to someone and you guys are like, Hey, do you know where black hand is? No. no it's probably more like, excuse me, do you, do you know a person called black hands? Something like that. Well, who do you walk up to? A man? A woman? Jump! <clears throat> yeah. Some old <laughs> fuck like who it. sits there on his ass all day. I don't know. It's up to you guys. You guys gotta like describe it. We walk up to a stranger. It's not better. <laughs> you guys go up to someone. And what do you guys say? Oh, dra dragon more. Good vehicle. What did you say? I said Dragonborn. You wanted to say something to the civilian? He looks at you guys. Good evening. Hello. I've heard of this legendary thief called Blackhand. So, where can we find him? For hiring. Well, I don't know about any thieves or... Uh... I'm gonna roll. Is this guy a man or a woman? I said he, so it's a man. Okay, she like, let's get super close. And like... 
And I'm gonna try to I'm gonna cast uh, um, the make friends thing spell. What was it called? Charm person. Oh. You just don't even know if he knows about him, and you're already trying to cast charm person on him. <laughs> you're cool. <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> No, I'm like, I, I really wanna use the, the bullshit, okay? Oh, okay. 13 saving DC. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, an 18. What are we doing there? Shit. What are we doing? And he knows that you what just try we... to cast a spell on him, because that's part of Charm Person. I know. He looks at you and he's what like, are What are you trying to do, ma'am? Why are we doing the 10 minute break? I, I'm kind of. Oh. Sorry, I totally forgot about that. Uh, we'll do it after this talk. Okay. He looks at me, he's like, Man, what are you trying to do? And of course, he messes up the situation. I was so enthralled by your uh, handsomeness that I just couldn't help myself. They should call I the guards. A, you just I, tried to cast a spell on me. I'm, I'm sorry, a, sir. This is my, uh, kind of, I, I kind of pull him aside and I say, She's kind of like, you know, special needs. Oh, I get so it. We're kinda, he we're he kinda looks like, at her, seeing all the know, lyrium on her, and he's like, Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. We're trying to, we're trying <laughs> to, you know, take her for a walk, fresh air, you know. Okay. You understand, right? I'm sorry, we'll be on our way. I guess I understand. Let's, but... go to one of, let's go to Sarah and see if she knows anything about this legendary leaf. Fucking freak. The warlord. <laughs> Bells. Yeah, you guys. So uh, you guys take one, two, three, four hours, <laughs> five hours. So it's now nighttime, by the way, because it was like six. So it's 11 p.m. now when you get to her. Of course, she doesn't believe in beauty sleep. <laughs> you guys get there. What do you guys decide to do is you guys see this. Uh, this trident look up at you and aim his tried in at you and he's like, what are you doing here? What do you want? We're just speak with Sarah. He looks at the moon. Like, now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, look, like right now. Okay, come with me. Night's still young. I know it's young, but still. He brings you guys with him. And so once he opens the door, you guys see a Elven woman, sitting there, slumped over like a crate or something. A half-elven woman. She looks up and she's mm. like, yeah. Hey, come to ask some questions. Mm, questions about what? I don't even know who you people are. We, yeah, that's um, good. Why is that good? I don't know. You meet new people every day. She like slumps over, so now she's laying on her chest. Who do you know where the person who stole your necklace went? We are look, working for Kane. Oh, you're working for uh, the old Black man. Uh, for uh, Black Dagger. From what you guys can tell, this woman is like in her twenties. <laughs> all the yeah, other sea lords, sure. yeah, all the other sea lords look like they're either mid forties or sixties. The second you said that she's lying, you suck your way to the top. I got it. <laughs> oh. I got the it, second, I got it. <laughs> the second you said about her lying on her chest, I thought you were gonna make a mention about her chest or something. No. I was waiting for that, actually. I was, like, getting excited <laughs> for that. <laughs> not gonna lie, dude. <laughs> Carry on, though. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? Anyway. <laughs> Y'all are more horny than I am. Whatever. So, she looks at you yeah. all and she's like, what do you need? Uh, uh, no, you already told me what you need. Uh, about Black Hand or whatever. Yeah, where did he went when he stole your thing? What happened? Where did he go? I don't know. What did, what happened when he did it? By the way, I love your lipstick. Thank you. What, what color is that? It's black. Chapped <laughs> lips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Charcoal. we got a goth woman in here. Okay. Oh, oh God, the ranger is getting horny. 
<laughs> She's just like, it's black. It's from charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> Real good on you. So, can you give us more information about what happened at the day of the... the I was about to say murder. Uh, uh, it will be a murder if I catch him. Don't worry, we will catch him for you. And we will deliver him right uh, right to you. Naked and on a sliver, uh, silver platter. That's a That's little excessive. Nasty. Yes, naked on a silver platter. I think. On a platter. Maybe not silver because I don't think there is enough. Yeah, that's too expensive, here. actually. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Anyway. Did you find with like a wooden stick? She like something? stands up. She's about like. 5'8. Is that taller or shorter than Roddy? That's taller than Roddy. That's taller than me, dude. <laughs> okay, I don't know. She's, she's shorter than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so she's not related to a gnome, got it. Well, she's a half elf, so you know. She's clearly a high half elf. Mm. She starts walking over and she's like, Well, I was standing here and he came out from over. The... Timothy? Yes, ma'am. Can you show these guys what happened? Sure, ma'am. He walks over and he's like, You. This guy's like, Me? He's like, Yeah, you. Come here. Stand right here. You're gonna be, you're gonna be Sarah. Okay, uh, I, I guess. Okay. He walks over to the to the flag area as he starts like acting like he's putting it up, and he lets go and just charges at the guy, and he's like, ah! As he just gets slammed into. Yeah, and he just continues running. Like show. As now he's holding mm -hmm. the guy's like fucking dagger. As he runs off the boat, just keeps going for like a good two, about a good like three minutes. Then he comes back and he's like, that's pretty much what happened. Mm -hmm. yeah, good, good job. I'm so sorry for what happened to you, my uh, lady Sarah. That's fine. How does the letter sound so fucking sarcastic? <laughs> How does what? <laughs> she does not sound sarcastic, buddy. <laughs> Listen. Can I quit? We will, tr we will do anything in our power to return your... Was it, uh, my uh, necklace. Your, necklace. My, your, uh, I was about to say locket, and I was like, what the fuck was a locket? I mean, it could be used like one. <laughs> yeah. Can we do anything to, uh, to relieve your, uh, your trauma from the experience? I don't really have any trauma, I'm just currently feeling sick. Mm. Maybe Ranger over here can help you. <laughs> Yeah, clear that throat, but never mind. Uh, ah, God. Where would we find uh, this person that we're trying to look for? I don't forgot know. his name already. Well, he certainly can't have left the dock, so we should be able to find him in like a day or two. He used to live uh, quite close to the sunken inn. Even though it's not a, yeah. big, it's a brothel house, but you know. <laughs> It used to be an inn when I was a kid. Very Rengar. Rengar. Uh, uh, do you want to have good? Do you want to have good relationship with the lady? Maybe. I, it's a lot. She's a little lazy though. It's 11 p.m. You guys should sleep. Sleep for the week. My lady, uh, my friend here can. You know what? Yeah. Jesus my... Christ! Oh, my... I got a horde back home. I got. <laughs> we can go to war right now. <laughs> yeah. My friend... Have a good day, ma'am. Have a good day. I was then gonna I gotta, offer like... you guys a room downstairs, but you know. You guys want to go? It'll take you three hours to get back. Actually, it'll take you guys like five hours to get back to the tavern. Yeesh. Yeesh. Why is everything away in this fucking city? He wants oh. us to get a workout, dude. Yeah, how big is this? <laughs> that city? way, when we're level 18, we have an excuse to be level 18. <laughs> that, that fucking, the fucking capital, does it have such big a thing? 
This like, is all made out of boats we, and pirate ships and wood. We tried yeah, to we built we such tried. a big thing. It's the Rock, pirate. Could you repeat what we, what we would have an excuse to do? Because I didn't hear you. Uh, because when we're level 18, it's a good way to say, like... You guys worked for it. <laughs> yeah. We walked fucking four hours just for one mission. And then we gotta walk five hours back because we forgot our way back. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like, hey, you guys can sleep down in the barracks. Jimmy! Mm. You're sleeping in my room tonight. Don't get any funny ideas. <laughs> I will cut off your fingers. You did? Oh, yeah. uh, fingers. Okay. <laughs> Only the fingers. Okay, I'm... Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe yeah. Ranger Oh, if he doesn't have fingers, he can't <laughs> touch me. Exactly. I'm an excellent bodyguard. He did, in fact, have some funny ideas. I Don't worry. I, I have ways of telling what people are up to. Especially on my bow. Okay. It's got the sharring gun. I can yeah, see I can sleep anywhere. Downstairs, preferably. But you can sleep up here if you'd like, on the dock, in the wet, cold air. I like the wet, cold air. Okay, I do too, that's why I'm up here. And not in my cabin. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, it's good for the lungs, you know. It's good for the skin and the lungs. And the yeah. environment. And the mental health. I don't know, the benefits just go on. It really does. Can and I? Yes. How long? No, no, no. How long is the way from here to Keynes? Five hours. Can Same I distance say? from the tavern. Uh, why do you have to be last? I don't know. Why is your time not realistic? My time is really realistic. <laughs> I'm making a joke. <laughs> It yeah, takes me half, I'm at the end of the fucking city. It gets me half an hour to go to the center of it. What yeah, do but, you mean? but you live in a small country. <laughs> and who builds huge islands of wood? Do you know how expensive that would be and how hard it would be? Right, I was like, you know how expensive and hard that would be? You don't know how long this place has been up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. The, 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 the technology. The technology to do this is probably not even conceivable for these people. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's not OSHA certified. It's not. It's not safe at all. Yeah, it's literally made by pirates. Yeah. You think they care about safety? <laughs> it's livable. <laughs> it's, it's literally held along with the. Plus, she has stated that yeah, she is younger than this place, and she's twenty. Stranger. Mm hmm. Uh, I have a weird idea, and I pull him up to the to the to the side so the others can't hear. Because you're the fun one, do you do you want to do something with me? I have a or weird. Do you want to go fishing? <laughs> no, I have I have a weird plan, and I just I I need a buddy, just because you know if something goes you know wrong. You want someone to blame it on. Got it. No, just so you know. Like my siblings. <laughs> Tear falls down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, like, not like that. Uh, no, no, no. I, it, it would be definitely only my fault, but you know. I have the most, the most spicy shit I have ever tried in the world. And I know how to use it. Mm. Do you want to wake up in super early? in the morning and come to me you come with me to Maxon's place we we'll have to be oh, very sure. quiet though <laughs> sure sure i guess okay I mean, what are we doing with these spices we just handed it to him <laughs> no uh, to no tonight i'm gonna like I, i'm gonna use my fire and i'm gonna dry them and then make them into powder they're already powder gonna... oh I'm gonna have. I'm gonna steal one of uh, Olga's feathers, and I, uh, and we will have to find. And we will have to find a big stick. And we we're gonna rub that shit all over his bed. Oh, 
<laughs> you know, I imagine. Underwear. What I imagine is it's just like middle of the fight. You reach into your pocket. Ghost pepper powder, go! You throw it into their eyes. <laughs> burning damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and what, what is gonna happen? He's gonna run out of the room and he's gonna leave his shoes behind, and then we can just deal with no problem. You really want those shoes, don't you? Yes. Okay. Do you guys accept? Understandable. I do want to ask. Do you guys accept the uh, offer to sleep at the, you know, at Sarah's place? What time is it again? It is 11 p.m. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll sleep here. Wait, yeah. Rangar, if we go now, technically we'll be there right on time for him to be asleep. We don't need to. I don't like that smile on your face. <laughs> I don't like the smile on your face. <laughs> we don't need sleep, let's go. <laughs> we don't need sleep. Okay, I guess. Okay, well, as it, we're gonna stop right there so we can take our 10 minute break. Yeah, it's like we gotta use the bathroom and stuff. I'm, I'm about to piss myself as well. I was just waiting for you guys to go to bed, but since you guys don't want to go to bed. Hell yeah, I'm, hell yeah, I'm gonna eat something very fucking unhealthy. Okay, I'm gonna read the last four pages of my book. We shall hurry. I'm back. How's everyone else? Pretty good, pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah, good, hey, hey, good. I keep what? on forgetting. Oh, wait a minute. I think I wrote it down in my character's name. What do you keep forgetting? Though? 
Uh, what I made my axe out of. Uh. That don't... beak of thing. Oh, right. Axe beak. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, axe beak. Yeah. Mm. Is Luke here? Luke? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I know this isn't your most comfortable scenario. What do you mean? Uh, the adult jokes and stuff. Oh, yeah, that, that, that part is bloody hell. But, uh, everything else is fine. Um. I asked a funny little question because uh, this is the second time Ethereum has come up in the conversation. I'm just like, I'm just curious. Uh, did you send it to me or? Oh. It's it. There it is. Uh, no. No? Sadly, no, because the way most Lyrium is supposed to work. Maybe if you get orange Lyrium, but the way most Lyrium works. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Orange Lyrium, possibly, but, like, other Lyrium does different things, so. Got it. I did not know that, and that it answers the question. I'm still satisfied with the answer, actually. Okay. I finished the book. Okay. <laughs> and I and I still pro I was still think that uh, Tyrande would have been better with Tila than not with Malfurion. Okay. What, what, uh, Lyrium does, uh... Elena have. She has blue lyrium. Dude. It is meant to cancel out magic. Wizards can technically have blue lyrium in them. Most uh, wild mage sorcerers will end up putting lyrium in and then studying and becoming wizards instead. So how common is lyrium, actually? <laughs> Only the dwarfs have it. So if you find someone with lyrium, they probably took it from the dwarfs. <laughs> the dwarfs the dwarves be a profitable thing. The dwarfs in this universe, by the way, unless they're top land, they can't use magic. So you can't be from underground and have magic. Because they have lyrium in everything. Their salt is literally lyrium. Oh, so they evolved, like, not having... Yeah, really pretty much think of Dragon magic. Age dwarfs, Roderick. They can't have magic. There are some that can, but they're can top they side dwarves. No. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get some pizza. I'll be back. Can they still what, Roderick? Can they still dream? Yeah, they can. They can dream. I'm just saying, like, lyrium they uh, use is so they can't have magic. They use blue. Blue lyrium is the most common lyrium, is what I'll say. <laughs> what is that again? That's the one that stops magic. Uh. Is that, like, profitable from, for the doors? Not a lot of people take Lyrium unless they're magical, so... <laughs> and imagine how much magic people dwarves actually get. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they can make a profit off it, but, like, it's yeah, probably that's, not a that's big one. I mean, like, selling it to, like, uh, kingdoms to hold mage prisoners, you know. Lyrium chains. Well, not a lot of people know about Lyrium. Uh... Dwarfs use it for salt, so to them it's like, oh yeah, it's just a rock. It's a rock? A rock, yeah. It's a rock? We should make, what should we make these walls out of? Lyrium. Why lyrium? Because it's see-through. Why do you want a bud, our bathroom to be see-through, Jerry? Because we can see the enemies coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More ways than one, yeah, I guess. <laughs> More power to you, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, if this character dies, I really want to make a dwarf. I'm bringing back Stormbreaker if Ragnarok dies, Eric. Okay. Yeah. You mean Stormbeard or? <laughs> Stormbeard, yeah. Stormbeard. You said Stormbreaker. I'm like, that's a that's a weapon. Yeah, yeah that's Thor, I think. Yeah. Good old storm beard. He wanted to break people's kneecaps. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to do that. 
because you were angry at this guy for cheating you out of your money, so you want to break his kneecaps. It was so little too, so little money. It was like I know you're gold. like, let's break his kneecaps. It was like it was five gold. <laughs> I could barely get one gold, five golds, a fortune. <laughs> well, back then, we got gold a lot more. Oh. It was sad when that campaign ended. What was your character again? A high elf, right? Yeah, there was a high elf named Father. Father. Mm -hmm. I have a real obsession with being a father. His name was Father. You don't know the half of it. One of the characters was, was named Poppy. Poppy? Poppy. I Poppy. Hello, Poppy. Uh, mm -hmm. Get some Spanish in your life. Yeah. Daddy, Poppy. Uncle, <laughs> no. Papa. Step bro, you know. Step bro, no. I'm stuck in the dryer. No, you're not. <laughs> no, that's not why you like to be called. No. Seth, Daddy, the main the list goes on. Yeah, I mean, Daddy. Father was his name just because it made sense to me. Like he was gonna be the father of his group. He was gonna make a safe place for elves because in the world he was in, elves were very disliked. So I was gonna make a safe place for them. Uh, okay, Daddy. What are we talking? Yeah. About? We're talking about one of my old characters. Like my first ever proper D and D character. Shit, you have. They want to be a daddy. No, his name was just Father. Like that was his name. He he had a weird. He, his backstory I can't even remember. I think it was just because like he was abandoned, and like treated like shit. So he was like, I'm gonna make a place. I'm gonna make a place safe for elves and other races. And he eventually so he just became the be name. I guess, but yeah, his name became Father. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. I opened another book, like a Bulgarian book, and I was, and the words are, so, the lines are so far apart than the book I was currently reading. Okay, guys, break is over. Is everyone here? All right, I just got back. Okay, yeah. so everyone um, is here. I, yeah. I will I'm... say, um, I know I'm maybe a bit late for this. So I don't mind uh, doing this in the middle of the night or something. But I don't want to be useless today. I want to make some checks. Investigation checks. Okay. What do you investigate? Oh, yeah. You're probably Her looking panties. for panties. Oh, oh, never mind. If I can uh, catch a whiff of where this person might have gone, then I've made progress. Okay. Uh, I'll, let, I'll have you make one investigation check. Mostly because um, I don't have much to really say because it was going to be pretty simple. And I was going to be like, ah, yes. They'll just hang out with people, talk to people this session. I wasn't expecting you guys to actually get a job, so. <laughs> we want to do stuff, but I don't want to be bored. <laughs> oh, no, I thought today was going to be a rest day, though. So, you know. Okay. Go ahead and do your investigation, Chuck. Like... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm useless anyway. All right. Aw. Sadly, with the six, you kind of like wander around, you know, you're a cat. People kind of just ignore you, so you don't really get any looks or anything either. Yay. You do almost a few times get kicked into the water, but that's just because people aren't paying attention to you. Oh. Oh, that's not okay. No, but you manage to keep yourself up. You're fine for most of the day. You're just like, when you're sick of being kicked, you just get back in the backpack and you're like, fuck this shit. Getting kicked once is enough for me to be say that, so, uh... Okay. <laughs> well, I'm over here trying to make your character seem like he's actually <laughs> trying to do stuff, you know? Just like, ah, that hurt. Two, two PS in. I hate boats. <laughs> not, not the swear part. Joe doesn't swear. Uh, but... I mean, he might. He's he's hates, lived around a lot of people. Hates boats. Hates boats. Okay. My character loves him. He wants to learn how to sail one. <laughs> so yeah, you guys end up dealing with that, you know. And sadly, you know. Uh, Cry, what do you do at the end of the night? Do you just go to bed?
cry. Sounds like he already is, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good role play. <laughs> we did make sure everyone was here, right? Yeah, he said he was back. Sorry, you got distracted. What is this? Uh, what do you do? It's the end of the night. It's 11. Are you going to bed or are you going to do something yes. else? Okay. You, without second hesitation, head downstairs and just pass out on the ground. Not the ground, but the bed. The bed is weirdly more comfortable than the tavern bed, despite being made out of hay. Yeah, I'm eating, so I don't think I'm really capable of role playing. Okay. Uh, okay. Luke, do you decide to stay with Cry or do you want to go with Evelyn and Borg? I stay with Cry. I okay. Mean uh, try would have or P.S. would have heard my last thoughts of, uh, I hate boats. Okay. Uh, so. You seem tired. You're right there. <laughs> yep. Do you think we should try to rub the spices on, uh, on his butt? Or in his bed in general, so when he turns in his bed, he will be covered in the spices. I say, uh, I say, undergarments. Or What's socks. Hmm. Underwear. What if, wait, wait. What if with my magic, we create a little bit of fire, and like, we make, uh, we, we, we throw the spices inside of the fire. That way, he will then heal it. Flaming of the lungs. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's safe or um, you know, fire bad. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. If we rub it on his lips, hear me out. He wakes up, licks his lips, his crusty ass lips, and then he's, his mouth starts burning. It's, and he keeps on licking his lips. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should rub it in multiple places, so that we are sure it will work. I'm gonna just yeah. throw the entire fucking thing at him, <laughs> Why don't you? Okay, <laughs> get his entire body. No, I don't want the entire thing because I have a limited amount of thing, and I can, I kind of want to use it for later use. So we can. What rub later it. use? Oh <gasps> wait. Scrooge area. Yeah, that's why I say underwear. Let's that way, little... like his balls and ass, ass scratch, scratch. Yep. That's all. That I remember when my brother did that to me. That definitely. He man. said the stranger told him to do it. The stranger. The stranger told him to do it. <laughs> I I I knew it. That guy was an ass. <laughs> Meanwhile, in real life, he just means some random fucker. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we rub it on his, uh, we put it on his crotch area. He definitely will stand up and starts running towards the water to, you know, relieve himself. He wouldn't, uh, because of the burning sensation, he wouldn't have time to take his shoes. So that way, he will steal his shoes. Hmm. Yes. Why the why? Just a, just a question, if I'm allowed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you actually. But... Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what if he runs after us? He will hide, obviously. He wouldn't see us. And if he mm, does, he would be too busy scrubbing it... himself. Yes. Yes, that too. And also, we can disguise ourselves. Well, I can disguise myself. I'm not really good at disguise. Don't worry, we'll just give you a. We can make you a mustache. We'll just put a, Yeah, I was gonna be like, we'll just put a mustache on you, you know? <laughs> you think that'll work? A, yeah, you'll be un unrecognizable. It's just really? like Superman all of a sudden. Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah. Carry the platypus and stuff, yeah. yeah. Imagine he put Rose on that from fucking Twitch and it's quite literally it is. Help me play her the platypus. Yep. Prayer the platypus. Yeah. Remember when uh, the doctor. Oh, like, <laughs> platypus? Oh no, it's just a normal. It's just a plumber. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's a platypus. A <laughs> it's a platypus. It's a platypus plumber. Perry the platypus plumber? Perry the platypus! 
dude, Dr. Doofenshmirtz needs to be in D&D. <laughs> he had the worst backstory. Think about it. No, I want you guys to actually think about it. He uh, had the worst backstory out of anyone in history. His parents didn't show up for his own birth. <laughs> he was forced to stand outside as a guard and no. <laughs> His only and, best yeah. friend was a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to watch him fly away. Balloon! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Okay. Maybe you uh, but we need to find Olga first. I gotta make Dr. Doofin's merchant an NPC now. Yes. <laughs> the has... smartest but dumbest man alive. <laughs> she has Good to show us... She has to show us where we have to go. Roger. Oh, no. Sorry, I'll, I'll let Roddy finish, but then I'll explain how to do it. And also, <laughs> we need to uh, to take one feather from her. Okay. Right, let's find that bird. To make that to do for smart, you need high intelligence but low wisdom. <laughs> yes. And good charisma. Yeah. Because he affords that fucking building. Do for, for evil incorporation. He also has the private island and shit. Dude, he makes a lot of money. <laughs> no, his wife pays for it, as far as I remember. But holy oh shit, why, why is his wife, ex-wife paying for the, all that shit? Like, holy shit. So she good doesn't... wife. I mean, good So she doesn't have wife. to pay child support. She's a dark cage. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> because he takes care of the daughter. <laughs> yeah, make the daughter super hot too. <laughs> and rebellious and cool. <laughs> anyway. And a plot to take over the world. Okay. Can, can, uh, do we see little Olga? You see Olga flying over because she couldn't find you guys. Because let's face it, why would she know where you are? I... Eagle vision. I will uh, whistle at her. She looks at you. Come here. She flies over and lands. Bring you find one, Maxim. Do not waste. You find what yet? Did you find where Maxim lives, Olga? Woo! Can I run random handling to know if that's a yes or no? Sure. You sure you can trust the novel? You sure yes. she doesn't think all humans look alike? I, I'm sure I can trust. Where she stops the baker. I'm sure I can trust the owl. All right, you I, don't know I, if she's I, saying yes or no. Okay, girl, lead us to Maxim's house. <laughs> oh, leads us and to she an flying. Look the girl. Let's follow her. Hmm. Roger, even or odd? I feel pretty even about odds. Okay. Why was that so supposed odds. to be? <laughs> so odds. I should be back at max HP by now, right? Uh, uh yeah, you guys will reach magic. Yeah, you should be. So, <laughs> after about, you know, five hours. You guys eventually see Olga land on a house. I'm gonna roll stealth to, and try to sneakily go n near it. Currently, it is 4 a.m. <laughs> okay. You are not gonna have a good time when you wake up. I don't mind. This is worth it. Oh, you will fucking mind when you. Also, cry. Roll me 3d20s. <laughs> okay. Would you prefer roll 20 or... Yeah, roll 20. Uh, I mean, not roll 60. 20. D&D Beyond. I don't care. Yes. TX... What? D&D Beyond. Oh, what you guys have been rolling on. No, I, was, I was too confused what Roddy was doing. Oh, she got a 16 because of the stealth. Yeah. Roger, are you going to stealth? Uh, sure. Okay, just asking. Okay. I was going to be like, oh, what do I do? Two freeze together. 33, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm gonna sneak here up to the window and try to see if the Maxim is inside. Okay. You look inside as Borg isn't doing as good as you and he's kind of like hitting some stuff. It's like... Quiet. Quiet. Alright, what do we need to do? As he oh, almost... Okay. He, Borg, you almost tip over a uh, barrel as well. You like bump into it, you see almost tipping, you grab it right before it hits the ground. Oh. I don't think I'm made for the stealthy stuff. It's fine. So is it Maxim's the house? He's just sleeping in bed. So it is Maxim. Yeah. I'm gonna... Here, I'm gonna summon a mage hand on the other side of the window and try to open the window as quietly as possible. For reasons of D and D, it is locked because you know who leaves their window unlocked in a pirate island. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. They have an idea. I I try to see. Yeah. Uh, I try to see if he has like cutting tools, like uh, a fee, you know, uh, the how how is the one thing that rogues have to open doors? Thief and tools. I'm gonna try to see if he has thieves tools is inside of his fucking house. Roll the perception. Okay. Eleven. You can't see them if he has any. It's too dark. Also, you're a human, so you would have disadvantage, but I didn't give you disadvantage. Borg? Yeah, uh, Borg. Rango? Mm -hmm. do, you, can, do you see why we're in dark? Yeah, I see pretty good. Okay, can, I guess. Can, can you see... <laughs> can you see any thieves tools in there? I'll stand up and look directly in there. Okay. You are technically breaking stealth, but that is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah. the middle of the night. The only people walking around currently are guards. And even then, they're like free range guards. <laughs> I'm a look inside. Roll perception. Perception. Oh. 14. You do not see any thieves' tools either. You do realize that there is a latch on the other side of the window, though. Mm. Man, I just really want to break the window and just unhook the latch. Well, do whatever you want. Can I? Roddy doesn't Can know I... that it's there because she couldn't see it because it's too dark. Sorry, Roddy. <laughs> I'm gonna say there's gotta be another way inside. It would have been hilarious if Borg just went. Like... <laughs> Is there a chimney we can go down? Uh. Um. I'm trying to think about how their structure would be because most of it's made out of wood and boats. Wait, can I see a key anywhere there? With your 11? No. Can I reroll? You'd have disadvantage. Boy, can you see any key in there? <sighs> Borg, with your 14, you do see one. It is right above him. Say, uh, there's a key, but the destination is pretty... Pretty... Oh, it's right above him. Oh. Pretty secure. I'm gonna make a mage hand. On the other side you of the window. You already have one. Yeah, on the other side of the window. I'm gonna make the mage hand go to the key, take the key, then go to the door, and open the god goddamn fucking door! Okay, ready. Isn't breaking and entering. Yeah, I'm gonna ma make it selfie, by the way. I know, that's not what I'm asking. You do know that breaking, breaking and entering is kind of punishable by, punishable by law? 
I'm just gonna catch us. How if we get caught? Ready. Exactly. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need to see where the mage hand is. Hey, Roderick, I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it counts if you get caught by the by the person living inside, especially yeah, if, only if we get caught. Yeah. So you can technically bring the mage hand over to the window, but I don't think you would be able to see the door. Advice. Okay, bullshit. Can I? I pull out my fucking dagger. Okay. I'm gonna try to quietly uh, cut the one thing that keeps the the that uh, keeps the window locked, like the wooden thing that keeps the window locked. I'm trying to think about how that would even work. Um, if it's on the inside of the thing, I'm just gonna make my mage hand just grab his dagger and do it. Okay, well, mage hands have negative to strength, so go ahead so and. Do I. I know, but a mage hand has negative three. Go ahead and roll strength. Work, you could tell her that the window is locked from the inside and where the lock is if you really wanted to. You said I couldn't. Oh, you don't know about it. He didn't tell you, though. I'm saying Bork can tell you. Do I know that? Yeah, you've that seen it. Little leather does it. Well, I would imagine. I feel like this is gonna be the rest of the session. I'm gonna I'm point down. I'm gonna say, uh, I do see a lever on the window. As you can see, a mage hand trying to open it, which technically the mage hand got 11 because it, it has a strength of uh, 3, so... Yes, the mage hand has its own strength. Okay, can the mage hand try to pull the lever? Pronk. Yeah, it can. It's, it's not hard to do that. I could do it as a baby, not a baby. Well, you know. So it easily does that as the dagger's now stuck in the window as well. <laughs> okay, so... I, I'm gonna... Uh... I'm gonna pull one le le feather off Ready. of Olga. Okay. What? You might wanna unplug, replug real quick. Yeah, we didn't get the thing, but you're also quieter. Okay. I am going to. <sighs> Take uh, one of um, Olga's feathers that are loose. Okay. And I'm gonna sprinkle some of the hot shit on it. Okay. That's pretty nasty. And I'm gonna make the mage hand deliver it to his crotch area. As I'm gonna pull Bor uh, Borg Rengar down so we can hide. Is oh yes, I'm for I I'm, forgot. I'm about gonna that. I'm gonna pick the feather rub it all over his You uh, sleight uh, of uh, hand because one you know you're trying to do this while he's asleep and two <laughs> you're using a feather. <laughs> six. Are there six? Okay, no, no, he no, like no, no, no. I, I, I want someone to just show up behind them and be like, so what are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a freak though. Evening no. stroll, you know. Oh yeah, I'm, it's also uh, dark, so Roddy would have disadvantage, but she rolled a six. So you can get me your eyes. You already have stealth. Okay. So e even As it eyes. like it starts to grab, like touch his crotch, he grabs onto it, making the mage hand basically fade away because they have hit points of one. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it drop the all the spice thing? <laughs> it, <laughs> it can only carry up to ten pounds, and you gave it a feather, so it cannot hold the spice. You gave it the feather. Well, you. You said, I'm going to coat the feather with spice. Yes. Yeah, so the only thing it would drop is a feather. 
cold it with spice. It's still hot. Yeah, but he grabbed the... Alrighty, he like grabbed the mage hand, is what I'm saying. It fades away, so he'd probably end up grabbing the feather. What? I'm gonna... What he's saying is, the moment Fine. that it grabs the feather, the hand now has the spice on it. Fine. I'm gonna... Um... I'm gonna quickly like pick a little with one finger. I'm gonna send the fire pot to the feather to ignite the oh. feather with the spices. Roll a disadvantage. Make... You are so fucking dead when he if he catches you. He will. I hope he will. Thirteen. Now oh, you hit the feather. But it's a feather, so it goes right by it, because it would instantly be set alight. Yeah, but the, does it ignite the spices to making it in, making him inhale this hot spicy thing? Yes, technically. Are you trying to kill him? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to prank. It sounds him. like you are. Yes, it won't. Mm, okay. Uh, his perception. Mm. <laughs> he breathes it in. And he's like, <laughs> as he looks over at the window, he's like, "Hey, <laughs> who the fuck's out there?" As you, as he grabs his sword and starts heading towards the window. <laughs> also, you guys shot something into his room, so he knows people are out there. I didn't even have to make a save. Directions. I didn't even have to make a perception save. I mean, check. Ranker, run in that direction. I'm gonna hide behind the barrel. Right. And then I just start running. <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind the barrel. You are so fucking Roll dead. Roll a stealth with disadvantage. <laughs> We're gonna get ourselves kicked Six, out of this area 16. so fast. 16. <laughs> Look, how do you feel about just to just us two being in this campaign after this session? The last survivors, yeah. Okay. I got okay. okay, Roger. Yeah. So he walks over and he like jumps out his fucking window. Meanwhile, he's in his boxers, by the way. Oh, real man. As he's going to take a shot at you, Roderick. Good. No. Natural twenty. No. I'll still keep running. I'm still running. That's Why don't you go down. like you did not fucking expect it, Roddy? I had a good shot. I'm still running. He, you fucking shot into his room. What the fuck did you expect from him? Thank you. you. Roderick, what's your max health? Uh, 14. That's exactly what he got for damage. Uh, yeah. So the arrow then comes. Use, okay. Then I'll use the half work endurance thing. Okay, Roddy, you watch as an arrow comes out of his crossbow and just goes into Roderick's shoulder as Roderick starts falling forward, catches himself, and pushes himself off the ground as now he looks like shit. He's running like he's drunk. That's more than a shoulder hit. That's a heart hit if I died and I had to use that ability. Well, he wasn't aiming to kill. That's the thing. Okay. Uh... He also got higher than your stealth, so he kind of looks over at the barrel. <laughs> you are so fucking dead. As Champers. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, no, no, no. He okay, laughter. Luke. So, re really, answer me. Are you okay he with you to be alive after this? He's well, just loved her. I thought the haze. <laughs> he walks he over and points his rapier at you. He just loved her. He just laughed her. He just loved her. What does that do again? He, he gets prone. Safe. He, he wasn't safe he, if he fails prone, uh, prone to the ground. And your save is a 13? Yeah. Unnatural 20. Stop giving your care a uh, random NPC shitty uh, uh, godlike fucking He doesn't stat. have godlike stats. He rolled a 17. <laughs> Shit. He's like, stop giving them godlike stats. What do you mean? 
You really like bitching, don't nah. you? He's an average NPC guy. <laughs> yeah! How is that that much? What, a None plus of, three? None of your NPCs can fucking fail! They can fail. Change. It just matters Change. when they roll. Change your fucking dice. I'm telling you those dice are weighted. They're all- well, yeah, they're metal. <laughs> yes, change it. He's just fucking D&D Beyond, D&D Beyond. I thought I was a sort of loser. I look at- <laughs> I look at him. He's aiming his character at you. As he's like... I should've guessed. I hope you know I'm gonna tell your grandpa about this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to... Uh, I'm gonna try to technically dodge him and run inside his room. <laughs> so you're trying to basically push past him and run inside his house. Yeah, I'm actually gonna push him to the side. No, actually, wait, I'm gonna pull down his... <laughs> Boxes. Oh, no, no, do not no. fucking there. No, no, no. no. Alright, take me with it's over. Throw. I'll be dead. Okay. Yeah, I am I am done with this bullshit pig when no, it's over. Good. Okay. Roddy, you grab onto his boxers and hold them down. And then run by him. I'll give him disadvantage on trying to grab you, because technically, you know. Okay, he rolled a six twice, and he gets a plus two to strength. So, no, he gets a plus one to strength, because he's proficient with that crossbow. So that's a seven. So you run by him. <laughs> right, complaining about my dice, and I just roll a six. I roll, I, I jump inside of his fucking house and steal his shoes. And <laughs> okay, well, he is, he'll let you t steal his shoes, because now he's more concerned about people breaking into his house. I'm gonna book it as fast as I can. Okay. As Ward, you now have a crossbow arrow stuck in your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I'll rip it out. Okay. Um, uh... Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I could have just, like, you know, snuck in, poured it into his boxer's drawer. And stole his shoes and left, but no, Roddy had to touch him in his sleep. It's all for the best. Wait, I could have just pushed the pig into his eyes. Shit. Okay, too, too late. <laughs> yep. As you guys flee, where do you guys go? To go Grandpa. Back to the to Grandpa? <laughs> okay, it is now five in the morning. <laughs> Take an exhaustion point, by the way, guys. I don't have to do that. Basically, just know that you have one exhaustion point. You have disadvantage on all ability checks. Not because of the roll constitution. So... No, because this is because you didn't sleep. Okay. So. It also I'm does gonna... start to rain, like it. but it's just raining. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave the sho my shoes in front of uh, Kane's fucking uh, door, and I'm gonna knock and hide. Uh, I am not gonna, gonna knock and run. <laughs> okay, so you're basically ding dong ditching with the shoes. <laughs> okay. You wanna know the size of his shoes? Yes. Okay, let me roll my dice. Okay, that one's an 8, and then the d4. That one's a 3, so 11. They're size 11. The fuck is size 11? That's how we do it. Yeah, not my fault, you guys are weird. 11 inches. What do you mean weird? We, we, are, we are those? Like... Yeah, you are. The whole world uses it, just you and all uh, two other countries don't use the me me metric system. It's 20 cent- right, it's 28 centimeters. That's so small. What do you mean? That's about the size my- actually, my shoes are 12 inches, so they're a foot. That's my size of sh 
wait, no, my, wait. No, that, that's not possible. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Female mm -hmm. shoe size is 38. Female shoe sizes are smaller than men. Yes, and it's 38. Yeah, men have bigger shoe sizes, but it still says the same thing. It'll be like, mine will be like 11s, and it'll say like 32 Eric, men. Eric, you're saying that the kids is 20, n at 28. No Fine, more. let me go fucking grab my shoes real quick. Oh my god, I'm just gonna fucking change. Oh, you're the one who's complaining! Double check. It's about the size of Elvin's, you know. That's still small, Eric. What do you mean? That's that's not a normal shoe shoe size. Do you guys oh have like gosh. mini shoes? What do you have like two foot feet, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our oh, feet are feet. about our feet are measured in inches, Roddy. Polish. Okay, never mind. It's forty four. I typed in eleven inches. I said inches to centimeters. It's 44, okay, that's much more acceptable. What? <laughs> Are you talking about the shoe size or centimeters? Yes, it's for the shoe size. I was telling you centimeters. I know centimeters. That doesn't matter. It's 44, okay. I'm, so I'm gonna run over to Borg. The Borg, Rangar. Do you think it was worth it? <laughs> I'd say so. Borg, you are literally horribly dis not disfigured, but you know. Yeah, I was gonna ask Sarah if she uh, right, guys. stitch. Yeah, it's they're, already, it's already they're done. done. Yeah. They ran away. We can ping Luke. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna ping Luke. I'm gonna give Cal 5 to Ranger. You're gonna give a what? <laughs> five, 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 two. Oh, Wait. high five. <laughs> to the fuck's a five high? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to sleep now. I gotta, I gotta go. Get what this Wait, fucking... what time is it? To, what it's time five a.m. Yeah. No matter what they do, they're not gonna be able to take a long rest. Yeah. I gotta get this stitched up, then I'll, then I'll be down. No want me to help you. Uh. You know how to stitch. I'm not sure, but I can try. I don't like that answer. Okay. Well, thank you for the company. No problem. Anytime. <laughs> right, I'm a teacher how to stitch, I guess. Okay. On yourself? On my own body. Yeah. It's also on your shoulder, so, um. Uh... Yeah. Kind of hard to stitch it, I would say. Mm -hmm. I will help him. If it was on my back or chest, it would be annoying. Roderick, have you ever Don't stitched stitch anything, it. by the way? Yeah. Uh, okay. I had a do I did it with uh, these these three nursing students, well, nursing nursing chicks. Okay. Uh, during college. It's pretty fun. Hey, Raj. Yeah, you stitched their mouth shut because they were talking out of place. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <Some> chaotic shit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Do we have small thread? Or like string or anything on board? Um, you don't know. Oh, wait, Eric. What? <laughs> can I can I can I leave a small note in the on the shoes that uh, saying uh, his shoe size is forty four? You are such a fucking. Crap. I won't understand, but okay. Eleven, whatever. I'm saying I won't understand because, like, you know, at least in centimeters I can understand.
I guess. Ooh. You don't technically have... Oh, wait, your book. Yeah, you do. So you have to rip a page out of your book to do this. I know. I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice a book, page book. <laughs> okay. Next day, what happens <laughs> after we stitch Ranger up? Okay, well, I don't know. Do you guys go back to see Lord Sarah? Yep. Okay. Yes. So. Cry, Luke. By the time you two wake up, it is seven. And you guys don't see your teammates. Where the fuck do they run off to? Also, Borg's at one health. Idiot. No. We just got robbed. That's the story. Uh, yeah, that's a good story. <laughs> well, we fought off the robbers. That's why they didn't steal anything. Yeah. It's beautiful. Wait, Ranger, punch me in the face. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> <laughs> to, to make it more believable. D I dad, my dad will kick my ass, no. Uh, he will, no. Just punch me in the face. Nobody will... <laughs> <laughs> no, Meanwhile, Evelyn. Go my gods, no. Meanwhile, Evelyn watching this. Punch me in the face. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. You realize I can, I can, I can bench two, I mean four hundred pounds, right? Okay, don't punch as hard as you can. Just punch me in the face. You, you need to make to make a mark. We need to make a mark on my face so we the believe the story about us getting robbed is believable. Wait, one question: How far away are they from there? You? They're you know? walking there. I'm assuming this is at night, because they have to spend like four hours to walk back. Uh, by the way, uh, when uh, when Pearson asks, where are they? I, since it's only us two in the room, I, I, <laughs> the cat does a very awkward, kind of sits down and just holds up the paws like that. <laughs> <laughs> a tip to shrug. Uh, no uh, Luke, can you show it again real quick? <laughs> okay. And the cat tries to do that. Come on, punch me in the face. I will punch you in the face. We know you in the would. face, though. Come on, Ranker. You said no where, way, though? In the <laughs> eye, the lips, the cheek, what? Between the cheek and the eye. Like, you know, so you can hit both, so it looks like, you know, a serious blow. Come on. So the entire. You want me to, like, hit just, just one side of your face, or. Yeah, yeah. Good. Ragnar. What's your strength, Dan? What's your unarming strike? <laughs> unarming strike plus. It's a plus four and it does three damage. Three damage? Okay, Evelyn. Are you gonna Elena. let him punch. Uh, Lena, do you just let him punch you? Yep. Okay. I will say for purposes, you take two damage. Okay. So Ooh, Ragnar socks you in the face. I, I, I spit a little bit of blood and I'm like, good punch. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've been practicing. Yeah. Now let's go. I was back. in the army. You guys make your way back. As uh, does yeah. Luke and Kyle want to do anything for two hours? Mm. I what could we do? A hour. Oh. I mean. Yeah, sure. Let's fucking eat. Okay. Yeah, let's fucking punish them by by just fucking having them not eat. Yes. <laughs> they don't yes. get it right, best. You guys go up and you guys see Sarah just leaning against the porch, like, uh, oh. Morning. Good morning. How is send me a picture of Sarah, dude. I will, don't worry. I just got a good good visual, you know. How are you, you guys are today? <laughs> How are you today? Pretty fine. How is the bed? 
Sarah like cats? She seems... Oh, oh yeah, I actually forgot to mention, she does have a cat. Oh. She has oh, one sing... She uh, has one singular cat. <laughs> Most of the sea lords do have animals. I will say that. They all have their own individual animal. You might not see them right away, but they do have one. I wonder what gender the cat is. Because hmm. depending, <laughs> it's going to be awkward for Luke or not. Maybe. Maybe we'll, we'll be best friends. Alrighty then. Hey, Listen, I'm, I'm not planning any romances for Luke's character. Yeah, you better. <laughs> anyway, what's you, what did she ask? Oh, yeah. Uh, How is the beds? They're pretty comfortable, more comfortable than the one that. Well, at least I think so. I don't know what my friends, because he's some run off somewhere. Sucks for them, they're probably one of the most comfortable beds here. Her bed. I'm kidding. I'll just kill myself now. Would you mind telling me where, mm. where, uh, where we can get food? We kind of don't know. We kind of, I kind of don't know this place. She looks over to the water. Over there. <laughs> and then she points over at another ocean of water. Over there. Some oh, there. My God, the <laughs> oh, I wasn't being sarcastic. I'm just not feeling the best. Okay, can I... Uh, can I try to use mage hand to fucking catch a fucking fish? What disadvantage? Because, let's be fair, a mage hand can barely grab shit as it is. Okay, then never mind. I, 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 was gonna, I was gonna say, you do that, if you manage to fail, I was gonna say, dummy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gone. It's I'll be, fucking up. Listen, I'll be fair with you all. Mage hands can only lift 10 pounds. Let me just... At least they can carry a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, think about it. Your character's about to die. Place is about to explode. All you can do is just baby go, baby, <laughs> baby up on like a tree as the fire just, consumes. He just fucking falls onto the onto the floor floor head first because because the hand went thirty feet up away from me. Okay, I'm going to say cry if you're going to use mage hand. Roll survival at disadvantage. Why survival? Because you're trying to catch a fish. Okay, okay. That feels more survival like. You're trying to catch an okay, animal. Okay, and. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A four and under 20. Ah. Uh, so, you just can't seem to grab it. Yes, your mage hand is like trying to, but it's like as if you were to try and grab a fish, it just swims through your hands. Fuck. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll show you how to fish. When he gets there. Okay, yep, he's gonna. Wait, do I have. Yeah, pulls up the crossbow. Okay. Are you gonna tie the rope to it? Yes, obviously. Okay. You have to tell me, because otherwise you would have just lost an arrow, so. Yeah. No, the fish is gonna naturally float back up the surface. With the I mean, after a while, yeah. But, like, not right away. Yeah. Uh... Do I have to roll to tie the rope? I hope not. No, because it's just, you know, you're not trying to tie someone up. It's just simply... Okay. You know. So, I assume I roll the fucking hit. Uh, no, you roll another survival. Because this is what fishing is. Fishing is survival. <laughs> yes, you don't yes. You don't have disadvantage. It's just a straight roll. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. Got it. <laughs> Oh, fuck off! Yeah, what? Another four. Jeez. Okay. Why? So you attempt to shoot your arrow in as you're just missing the fish for the next, like, 30 minutes as Borg and Elena finally get there. Do I manage to get... Do I manage to get that fish when they get there? I'll be nice and say you catch a minnow. A what? A minnow. It's a baby fish. Or a small fish, rather. Yeah, a very small fish. Basically, they're used to catch bigger fish. Uh-huh. I, I should buy a fucking fishing <sighs> Oh, God. There. That's Sarah, for everyone. I sent her in NPCs. 
Okay, Shoot. let's... Oh, shit. Let's get shit. Oh, Roderick is gonna be very horny for <laughs> I don't get... I'm not like that, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone's wondering, so I can finally describe her, because at night it's harder to see her. Her hair's a bit more darker. It's like a dark brown, not a brunette like hers is. Her eyes are a bit more of a bluish tint. Her clothes are more mage-like, so the dress is a bit more extended, but still has the pirate -esque expression to it, where it's like, you know, black and, you know, with the red thing in the middle. Bingo. Her lipstick, this, in? uh, NPC characters. Her lipstick in this time is actually a bit more of a reddish one, possibly from, you guys assume from blood, probably this morning. She has one earring on her left ear. Interesting. And she has a nice little red uh, rope around her waist. There's also a spell book hanging from the rope, so. Oh, yeah. She's just watching you fail over there, by the way, Peterson. Sometimes when you miss, she's like, ha. Ah. Mm, rude cat. I'm not a cat. I, bonk. <laughs> I mean, I, legit would bonk him. I have one, but I'm not a cat. I'm just laughing at you because you're failing so bad. Oh, I thought it was enjoyable. I, got nah, I was talking somehow. <laughs> eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, fuck you now. So I don't succeed in catching him. Sadly, no. As I get there, she like turns and she's like, Hey, welcome back. Mm. I'm fucking Thank amazing. You. Two fours in a row. You shouldn't have rolled those four natural 20s earlier. Fuck off. <laughs> By the way, your party members, like, cry when you turn around to see your party, they look fucking tired, beaten up, and exhausted. So how was it the, the, the night already? We got her all. I just realized yeah. my camera looks like shit right now. We, wait, 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 wait. Roderick, we say it at the same time. Come on. We got one. robbed, yeah. No. Oh. What? Three, two, one. We got, we got robbed. robbed. <laughs> you actually fucking counted down. Somewhat, yeah. We we'll stopped the counts, yeah. <laughs> Do they actually say that? By the way, y'all <laughs> say that to us. Like yeah. two, two, one. Insight check. Yeah, fucking insight check. Okay, go ahead and roll. I'm shit, so don't worry about me. Um. Where's my insight? Okay, I sw Oh yeah, 17! Uh, uh, the second follow-up question is, why were you out of the tent? I do have a question for you two. Are you, you guys trying to justify the attackers? I do have a question. Do you guys want to roll- Do you guys want to roll deception? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so it's a two versus two, so I have to add them up and divide by two. Oh, oh so you- Oh, so you have a- So I rolled up. So we rolled a 24 together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Roddy. Maybe 20. Borg will roll in. What, Roger? I got a nat 20. Oh. oh well, I would like you to roll on D&D. No Beyond, shit. No you know. fucking shit. So it's this equal. Oh, I'm not seeing your rolls. That's why I was wondering. Let me screenshot it. Okay. Where does you roll? Uh, he's Wait, rolling on D&D Beyond. Beyond, but I think his uh thing's just not popping up for some reason. I'm gonna send you or the picture. Lying. Or he's lying. No, he's just screenshot it. Yeah, he's are, are, you, are you rolling to yourself? You no, it's, it's connected to the account. I yeah, mean, it's... I mean, like, you can send to everyone, send to self, and send to Dungeon Master. 
whenever mm -hmm. you roll. It's fine. Um, actually, I know how to check real quick. Uh, I won't be able to see it all, but I'll still be able to see good, like stuff. I wonder what is your fucking modifier is. If it's of minus plus it's one. Um. Oh, you fucking. So it's a twenty-one. Yeah. Okay, just because their thing is like one higher, they do manage to succeed against you guys. You guys oh, can well. tell something is off, but you guys can't put your finger on it. And why exactly were you out of the night <laughs> in a fucking pirate city? We're creatures of the night. I am a vampire. We just want to walk. We were uh, talking about life, about, you know, what we missed, you know, because I technically attacked, I was super scared of him the first time we met because, you know, stuff, you know, we talked about it, we reconciled and so on and so forth. Well, I, no. well, I hope you had a good time because we don't have a time for break, we're, we're going to look for the black hat. I'm used to it. Whatever. Whatever we do, I'll be ready for it. So, what are we doing? We're looking for the black hat, as I just said. Alright. Yeah, go find him. Let me bring me back one of his fingers. Do we kill... Wait, are we allowed to kill him or do we have You can to kill, kill him. him, you just, you know, if the guards ask anything, you'll have to direct them to us, and then you'll probably be in prison for a little while until one of us come to get you. Mm hmm Okay, so I'll, we'll avoid killing if, it, if it's on the side then. Mm. Just chop off one of his fingers, guy. I mean, you don't have to, I just like one. His Why black, crusty fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she, even, she even shares an interest with, with <laughs> Roderick. In orc culture, you mean? Yes. <laughs> so, what do you guys wish to do? Or should said, black hands. Okay. How do you do that? <laughs> we probably should ask crap people. If they know where a fucking where the guy. Was they did tell you. She did tell you where he used to live. Oh, but he also told us that it was a whorehouse. But it is a whorehouse. No, she said there's one near it. Oh, okay. Let's go there then. Okay. Oh yeah. Where is that exactly? Let's see if we can get that fetch quest done bef before us fucking session before it goes longer than two sessions before it goes longer than a session. Agreed. <laughs> because this is just getting embarrassing for for reputation as adventurers now. Oh yeah, it says everyone. His thing is just not sending it. Roger sent me a picture in my phone, so I'm looking at it. Yeah, it, it does. I think his is just broken. So he did in fact roll national twenty. Yeah. Lucky bastard. Why? <laughs> oh. I rolled so few today, so I'm guessing that just added up. Okay, so you guys start heading in there. Well, you guys probably ask around a bit and then figure out a path to go on. Indeed. Who should you... we ask? Yeah. I don't know. There's there's people outside. You can ask town guard. You can ask um. You know, right into people on the street. You guys can look for someone who's running one of those side shops. I'm gonna let the uh, fucking what his name? Uh, Rod, Rod, Rod. I, I, why am I so bad with names? Ragnar. Yeah, I'm gonna let Ragnar decide. Decide what? About who he asked about the black hat. Just look around. Whoever looks the most important, I'm a. No, whoever has a bigger mustache, I'm a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna roll a d4. Guard, random people on the street, shopkeeper. Okay, so there's only three options. 
I really hope the guard has the biggest mustache. I hope, I hope your decision is proven wise. Okay, Roderick. You see this man who has this really long, luscious mustache, kind of like Eggman's mustache, but more well kept. I'm gonna point to him and say, "You." He looks over. Yes. I'm gonna walk over to him. He looks. And I'm gonna say, "You know a guy named Blackhand?" Um, I don't know anyone named that, but uh, there are people with black hands. Yes. Um, well, are you curious how they get black hands, or are you just asking for someone with black hands? I was asking about someone with black hands. Oh. Uh, well... You know, not natural. Just works yes, a lot, you know? Yes, yes, I understand. Uh, people who go to the Cannonball Factory sometimes come out with black hands. What the fuck the Cannonball Factory? Uh, we make cannonballs for the ships. It's a cannonball. Uh, he, big metal projectile. I'm gonna shake my head to every word he says. I'm saying, hmm. Okay. Rowdy. Rowdy. It is constant. It is yeah. literally just doing it and it's getting super loud. Why are you refusing to get new head? Well... Okay. This is why it's good to have a spare headset. Either AirPods and the over-ear option, or... something double. Anyway, no look at you below. If you're wondering about where the Cannonball Factory is, it's, uh... Well... I'd say it's close to the whorehouse, house, but not close enough. About 30 minutes away. Where is the whorehouse, house, by the way? Ah, uh, you see, uh... We're, well, we're currently in, uh... Sioux Lord, uh, Sarah's region. Yes, you Uh, you would want to go to the abandoned dock. Hmm. That is up north from us. Up oh, north. Okay. Very good, thank you. No problem. I'm gonna say, I think we gotta head north to the group. Okay. Group, you have anything to say? Nope. Sure, that's good. Let's go. You guys go on your way then. As y'all are a bunch of awkward, anti-social people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know it just makes hard. To, it just makes it hard to DM because you're expecting people to role play and they're just saying nothing. I'm uh, not in the mood lately. That's why you uh, gotta make the mood up. I just go along. Fine, half the dock explode. No. Yeah. Yes. You do realize that means the water is closer to you guys, right? I'm fine with the water. It looks not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys make your way about from here on almost two hours pass as you guys make your way to the abandoned docks where you guys see one massive ship bigger than all the other ones you have seen, which looks torn and destroyed pretty much. Lake runs much. Jesus. <laughs> That's so fucking good. <laughs> That's a good one. Dude, I need to use that one more often. What do you even say? He cut out for me. He said, like, Roddy's grandma. <laughs> oh. He said, the mother. Oh. He said, mother. Oh, I did. Same thing. <laughs> Okay, so you guys get to the abandoned docks. As yeah, it's still pretty lively here. It's just that one boat that is really destroyed. You guys can see it basically an hour away. 
I see. Mm. All right, let's hop to it. Okay, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Whoever's looking for the whorehouse or the cannon factory. I'm gonna uh, have... You guys know what a whorehouse looks like. I've never been. I'm looking at the royalty here. The answer is probably no. Wow. <laughs> so you roll the fucking perception. Roger's rolling the perception. You guys are like, make Roger. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking saying. I'm like, are you guys are like helping me out or something? Or... Yeah, I'm fucking literally saying I'm, 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 I'm helping. Here, here, I'll roll. <laughs> I rolled well. Unnatural oh. 20 investigation. Okay, Roger, you have disadvantage, remember? Good. Okay. Okay, uh, nine this time. Okay. Would I have disadvantage? I would. No, you wouldn't, because you slept. And Cry was helping, so Roger would still have that unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, Luke, what are you looking for? Uh, cannon place. Okay, Roger, what are you looking for? Uh, whorehouse. Okay. So after a while of looking around, you would both technically find your place. As Roderick, you see blonde women and men standing outside. And Luke, you can see people bringing a lot of metal into this place. Like, into this one place. Uh oh. Alright. Basically, that's me telling you guys what it looks like outside. It's like, it's they look like normal places, just slightly bigger than other houses. Shit, I slipped in. Up to you. Guessing. Should I slip in? Fusion. Cry. That seems like a you question. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm getting a bit tired in my brain. So with that water. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it's gonna take two sessions if you can't focus. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna have to take two sessions anyway. Oh. Yeah, well, it's that's twelve. I slip in. Okay, so what was the question again? He found the cannon place. He's asking if he should go inside. I don't think it's legal. <laughs> But you're a cat, I don't think anybody will stop a cat, unless they're poor guardsmen. Don't think it's legal, I'm just like, brain just broke right into there. I don't think it's legal for us to go in, pirates all around you. I don't think this entire place is legal. Alright, alright, <laughs> let's go in. Alright, go in, kitty cat. Okay. And, Yay! I'm gonna guess, Roger and the rest of the party makes their way to the whorehouse. I don't yes. want anything to do, you know. Man, I suggest you go with the cat. Yes, I'm, I'm going with, with Roderick. Okay. That's where I'll end it for now because uh, people are falling asleep. And I need to think about what's going to be inside these places to give you guys clues. Mm -hmm. I hope, Hopefully there's enough uh, little rafters and stuff that I can hang around in just to spy on people. Okay. Hopefully. If not, then oh well. Yeah, but yeah, that's where we'll end it for now. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I know no one's watching the stream. Martyr, did anybody enjoy the stream? No. Sad. Oh well. I mean, we're not we're not interesting. <laughs> Most of us don't even roleplay because we're too busy doing other stuff. But oh well. Today was meant to be more of a relaxing session. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, the chose not to allow it. It's fine. That was her way. No, we didn't have anything to do. We didn't know what to do, and she just she thought of something to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm not upset. I'm like, cool. Go ahead, guys. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly pull up Twitch.
And now I'm gonna go back to watching that. Is that what I'm you've been doing that. while we were playing, Cry? What? Is that what you were doing while we were playing? Perhaps. Okay. I'm gonna make an appointment with the doctor. Which doctor? Doc or the actual doctor? Um, uh, an actual doctor. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Like, yeah. I am... Stomach, Which stomach has, doctor, hasn't been acting right, so doctor. I'm gonna get checked out. Uh, an actual doctor. Okay, well, we're just rating someone real quick. With one viewer, which is, you know, okay. <laughs> and it's fine. Just start. Anyway, for everyone who does watch the VOD, go ahead and check out Hazy Brush Hero on Twitch. We do this every other Monday. I mean, not Monday. Sunday! Jesus Christ. Every other Sunday. I'll see you all there, hopefully. If any of you make it to the end. I'm pissed! Sorry, Luke. <laughs> what what happened? Uh fuck Razor. <laughs>